Give me one minute. Okay, I'm here. I'm actually here. Uh, now that I've successfully gotten the stream copyright claimed. How's everyone doing today? I should probably, uh, ping the Discord. Sorry, I am running a little bit late. Uh, I was playing, um, so I've never actually played any of the Grand Theft Auto games. But they're very popular, and there's a lot of them, so I decided to try them out, and I've been slowly enjoying them less and less, and I finally got to the point where I'm just completely fucking done. Um, I started with GTA V, which my wife said a lot of people consider to be the worst one. I thought that for a series that is notoriously out of date, like, the controls are notoriously out of date. I would go with the most modern one because it would be the least out of date. But, um... Yeah, I got to the plane flying mission. It's a shame because I'm finally, like, actually interested in the story. And the more interested I get in the story, the more the gameplay just gets worse and worse and worse. Uh, so I had to fly a plane, and after four attempts at landing, with the most awful checkpointing in the world, um, it checkpoints you pretty far away from the landing strip, and just has you fly for like three minutes. Um, I'm done. I uninstalled it from my PS5, like we're just donezos. So I'm gonna play a good game instead. I'm gonna play the Milkman game. Milky, milky, milk, milk. I can't play GTA. Hurting fictional people makes me mad. Did you see the Elon Musk tweet where he talked about how he didn't want to play GTA because the first mission makes you kill cops and he just couldn't do it? Press F for Jeff. Oh, I knew I was forgetting to do something. I didn't install the update, so Jeff hasn't been completely fucking butchered yet. I'll give my thoughts on the update. I'll give my thoughts on the update, but first, cutscene. Flair's party escapes the Estragan forces via the sea, hoping to trail to the coastline and arrive in Ospistia. However, just as banditry plagues the land, so too does piracy plague the seas of Almerian. 
Thus, Blair and company are drawn to the defense of a small ship. How are your lassies holding up? Have you ever been to sea before? Can't say that I have. It's fine enough. I'm quite enjoying it. I'm quite enjoying it. It's a nice change of pace. Arr! Well, hello there, good sir. What? I be a pirate, bucko! Hardly good or a sir. Well then. Aye, we will be taking your gold and your life. Blimey, there are pirates attacking the poor Aspitzian boat. Well, guess we're going around. I could hardly do that, Captain. We need to help them. Ah, fine. These be my seas, after all. Gotta show them who's boss. How do you expect us to fight? We can't walk on water. Don't worry about those details. My boys will get planks rigged and anchored faster than you can think. Of course we'll be joining the fray, too. We'll make this quick. Excellent, we've no time to lose. Alright, so, first things first. Uh, Natasha... Do we have armor knights on this map? Because I think Natasha is my only unit who can use the steel axe. We do not have armor knights, so... Oh, there's two ar there's armor knights here, okay. So, Natasha, I guess give the hammer to Cassius, even though we'll just end up running into another Cassius moment. But we'll grab the silver axe from the convoy. Um, give these. Uh, Peggy has a heal. Also, hello, cat. Hello, retina. Hello, doc bats. Hello, dribble. Hello, Redward. Hello, anyone who I missed? Panda. Hello to everyone. Uh, everyone seems to have all the weapons they need otherwise. Oh, you probably want to... Okay, you probably want... Oh, I don't have the money for a... I don't have the money for another heal staff. Do I have something sellable? I don't really have anything sellable. Well, I'll grab the heal and mend. Uh, Peggy, I guess give Yoink to... Where is he? Emil? Because he gets the extra range on it. And grab the Ruin Staff. I could sell the Aspistius icon if I really want to. This game has skill scrolls, uh, kind of. So there's the Honey Charm, which boosts luck and skill. And then, um, oh right, we can give this Iron Sword for, where is he? Stefan. Uh, to grab a Rooney. Everyone else seems... Okay, you trade with Emil because you're going to be healing the most often. Okay. Everyone else seems good. Uh, who do I want to give the ankle weight to? Probably Stefan. So we'll give the Vulnerary and take the Ankle Weight. This one boosts Strength by a ton, but lowers Speed, Defense, and Resistance. But considering, uh... Adept... Like, the Strength is... Strength is good. Oh, he's got 105% Strength Growth now. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, both Skill Scrolls and Thracia bo Growth Boosting Scrolls. Yeah, so... Oh, I didn't check out what, uh, Lightweight does. As well, because you said it does something else. Lightweight. If not weighed down, add con minus weight divided by 2 to AS. What's Kenneth's con again? 10? Honestly, lightweight kind of feels good for Kenneth. Like, that's a plus 5 AS boost when using Flux. Flux. 
and plus two when using, or not plus five, it's divided by two, right? So that's a plus two AS boost when using Flux. Not as good as plus five, but it can make a difference. I don't know who to give Kanto to. Uh, maybe Joseph, but I don't think he's a long-term. Maybe Desmond, but he gets it when he gets his horse. I mean, Natasha's got really high con. Ooh! Wait, Natasha's got really high con. Oh, no, but axes are heavy. I think I have Kenneth use lightweight. That feels, like, good for him. Um, I guess the other option is Butch, because he uses a light weapon and has good con. Butch is solid with it since swords aren't that heavy. Yeah, but that's, that's what I was thinking as well, actually. Parallel thinking, I guess. Um, I mean, Jeff, but like, I don't think Jeff's problem is his speed. Um, Jeff's problem is how you butchered him! I'll talk about that. I'll talk about that after I figure out preps, though. Um, oh, can Cassius? He can't use silver yet, right? No, he's, he's close. Silver's B, right? Yeah, silver's B. I mean, do we give Cassius a silver so that he can use it later? I think so. I think so. You should give it to Peggy so she can use the light and animatomes, whatever she gets after promotion. She could double even more with the Wrath Staff. What's the Wrath Staff? Two caught two weight? Hell yeah. Peggy, Peggy. Check the map most closely, by the way. There's a few things with its imp layout that may impact. So first off, we have stealable pure water. Um and stealable vulnerary. Um, oh, come on, get over here. Uh, shop, but I have no money. And it's just irons anyway. Uh, save point over here. These are just generics except for Apollo. An Apistian monk pilgrimage has a keen eye for beauty. Okay, so they're here. Reaver, Reaver Tome, that's cool. Um, and you're recruitable of some sort. Pirate born in the Lie Lowlands wants more out of life. Ooh. Acrobat, okay. So we've got another, a second coming of Sale. I uh, can't see who can talk to them yet. And Pete... Ooh. Neither of those are stealable, are they? Yeah. Okay. That's unfortunate. Captain of the Shantymen Pirates. He thinks he's a Levy Lynch and he's Shanty, Shanty Pete. Hello, Play Von Karma. Hello, Dribble. It's Sail. It's literally just the second coming of Sail. It's literally just the second coming of Sail. Um. Do we see a talk combo available? Apollo. Is that this guy? No, that's blank blank blam 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 blam. You can talk to Blang Blah Blah. Okay. So we want to get Blair over there as soon as possible. To Apollo. Which where is Rachel? I think actually.
So you're both stationary. Okay. You're stationary. You can go here. Okay. You're not stationary, are you? And you're not. Okay. You can't water walk. fucking strong. Um, oh, right. Kenneth is gonna want... Okay, I think we do sell the second Aspistius icon. I think we do sell the second Aspistius icon. Because Kevin is also gonna want a staff... Or Kenneth is also gonna want a staff. Where's the Aspistius icon? There it is. Okay. I know, this is gonna make... This is gonna make more so it's so sad. But we have to do it. Nobody, nobody say. Nobody say, okay? Nobody say. We'll grab a heal staff. Wait. Is that a scam price? Is that the, is that the scam price? No, that's the correct price. Okay. So Kenneth has a heal staff now. Did I miss anything? Nope. Nope. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nope. 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 You missed nothing. Okay. Think... We try this. If I rewind the stream by 30 seconds, you'll see nothing. Oh, fuck, this is gonna... Hold on. I can undo the glitch. I can undo the glitch. Undo the glitch. Alright, a pirate's life. Tell me, Captain, what is it like being a pirate? Aye, that'd be a vague question. Piracy, it'd be everything. It's not just a thing we do, it's a way we live. Treating it as a hobby or a job or whatnot, that'd be disingenuous. Huh? I never thought of it like that. Well then, how'd you end up meeting the king? Oh, now that'd be a tale on its own. My memory is a bit fuzzy, but I believe it began with other pirates. Some rival crew we were bothering a civilian ship. So me and me boys stepped in. Pure altruism, of course. No plans of making off with some booty of our own. Well, it turns out that was more than a civilian ship. It was the Elbacorian royal family's private vessel. Before we knew it, we were something of heroes. Frankly, there's other pilots for pathetic runs. But I... That'd be beyond the point. The king invited me and my mates for drinks, which, if you know pirates, is basically akin to emptying your coffers and the rest be history. That's quite the story, Captain. King Brandle's quite lucky to have you. Aye, and now you'd be lucky to have him. So, you'd be lucky to have me, too. Speaking of lucky... Catch this. What's this you lobbed at me, a book? I found this little number during a rumble with some upstart pirates. Their captain was this mean man named Gregorius. I thought we had it. Had what it takes to rule the seas. Well, we proved him wrong. I got him some spoils in exchange for letting him go. That book was among them, but... Literature don't serve us well. Thank you, captain. Both for your tales and for the book. Oh, I think... I think I know who I'm gonna give Kanto to. Aaron, because she can reposition in Kanto. Pirate's Life sounds like an old animated movie. Alright, what supports have we got? Peggy and Butch? Does Kanto work with steel? Oh, I don't actually know. We can test it. There's some stealables this map. We can test it. Uh, Kenneth and Stefan. Stefan, just who I wanted to see. Whoa, what do you require of me? I've been meaning to test some magics I've devised. Care to assist me? Of course, I shall stop at nothing for the betterment of Dalst. Very good. First step, jump overboard. 
I've prepared an elder magic based method to retrieve you. And worst case, we've probably an extra yoink around here somewhere. Aha! Your wit never fails! What wit? Yoink's just what the staff is named. I didn't pick it. Some researcher did. Said something about selling it to children. I mean, this plan in general, it's quite the riot. Now, what do you actually require of me? I've been completely serious. Ah, on second thought, I think Blair's calling to me. Gotta run. So sorry. All right, noted. Don't open with the throwing overboard next time. Yoink is just mini fishing the Eret. Uh, so we've got Butch and Jeff, Aaron and Desmond. We'll do Aaron and Desmond. Greetings, Aaron. Desmond, how have you been faring? As well as one can. I must admit, even with my skill, this is a bit much. Maintaining a small army is one thing, but actually fighting in a war, it's been rough. I must agree. By the way, where did you learn swordplay? Your techniques are something else. Where? That's hard to answer. As far as I can remember, I picked up a sword for the first time, and everything just clicked. That's quite something. I've never heard someone talk taking the blade that easily. It took me many years to master lances, and several more to pick up axes. But hey, everyone learns differently, and your skills are splendid. I'm glad you think so highly of me. Ability deserves to be recognized, and you're among the best we have. Don't forget that. Please tell me you know about the YouTube short guys who misses with crocodiles in Florida. No, I don't know what that is. All these supports besides Jeff and Butch have already begun, so there's nothing to lose with getting more ranks. Okay, so Peggy and Butch then. Hum. What's the problem, Peggy? Getting seasick? Don't you patronize me, bastard. All right, you've been one for seafood. And when you're a pirate, you kind of need to get used to that. You'd think the pirates get tired of eating fish all the time, right? Why the hell don't they have a snazzier cuisine? Something with a bit of pizzazz. Look, if you want it, I've got a bit of dried beef. Why didn't you say so? Give it! Rum, rum. Damn, that was good. Aren't you glad you kept me around for this long? Yeah, saving your life a decade ago, all built up to this moment. Quite worth it, I'd say. Glad to hear. Gotta say, I never thought my life would turn out this way. It's nice. A fishing garret is a treasure. Is that the YouTube guy you were telling me about? Hey, I get the feeling I know your face. Well, I guess I'm something of a big deal in Mevion. Don't get full of yourself, old man. I mean that I'm pretty sure I once tried to rob you. And you, in all your wisdom, decided to tell me that. You're clearly more a danger to yourself than anybody's goods. Aren't you going to condemn me? Not my place to pass that kind of judgment, I've learned. Besides, as I said, you're clearly leagues behind real criminals. Are you saying that you know what a real criminal is like? No, I'm not giving you pointers. Go away, please. Alright, so, the controversy about Jeff, and I, I, I haven't updated this yet, I forgot to do it, I knew there was something I was forgetting before stream, but the controversy about Jeff is he has recently been updated so that if he steals something with his mug skill, the durability is reduced to 5. Um, and some people like this because if you get really excessive with mug, I think the motivation... Uh, and Retina, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I think the motivation was that if you get really excessive with Mug in the mid to late game, you can just completely break the game's economy by stealing everything that's not nailed down, like in the stream title, uh, and then selling it all, and then you can afford basically anything. Um, or, even worse so, people just, like, steal everything and fill their entire convoy with uh, stuff they're never going to use, right? Um, I think that making Jeff Mug reduce the durability to five is going to make that problem even worse. To my mind, the platonic use of steel plus and slash or mug is stealing one or two things every map. Um, like, I know that it's probably ironic for me to say that considering the title of the stream, but I think what you quote unquote should be doing is taking things that are valuable to you that you're actually going to use as opposed to stealing like 8,000 iron swords and selling them all. 
Um, so for example, you know, previous map, I stole a silver axe. I stole some vulnerabilities as well. I've been stealing those a bunch, but you can do those with anyone and they aren't affected by this because they're five durability anyway. Uh, it's the weapon specifically. I stole silver axe last map. Um, I tried and failed to steal the flame sword in another map, but that's droppable anyway. In Thracia, one of the big things is stealing tomes for Asvel because you don't have that many. Um, or rapiers because they're fairly rare. In FE9, uh, there's a Laguse Slayer fairly early on you can steal. Like, stealing specialized stuff. I think that stealing a full weapon is generally the... Like, assuming you actually want people to steal weapons because you put the skill in the game. Stealing a single weapon is typically the quote-unquote ideal way to do it. And I think that by making all of them reduced down to zero, it pushes people to, well, if I'm deploying Jeff anyway, in order to actually get value out of him, I have to steal an excessive amount of things. Uh, especially because the convoy has convoy combining. So, like, suddenly if you want a Brave Axe, you have to steal five of them and combine them in the convoy. Uh, so I, I personally, I understand the motivation, and I get that it makes it so that you can't just buy a bunch of stuff and sell it. Um, so if that's all you care about, then it does solve that. But I do think it makes the uh, stealing for hoarding problem worse. I can't believe steel got nerfed before the stealing stream. I did forget to update, so we will get the full stealing stream. But it did, yes. I see it more as stealing five uses of the brave weapon to mend up the one you have with merge. I don't think that's worth a deployment slot, though. Like, I don't think that's worth a deployment slot. That's less value than the Hamern staff is. Obviously, I'm not at the point in the game where deployment slots are uh, competitive yet. But if you are deploying Jeff just to steal five uses and repair a weapon you already have, I don't think that's ever worth it. Like, I think this goes to the point where it just makes Jeff worthless. Um... Either worthless or huge FOMO steal everything. Like, there's not really an in-between anymore. I don't know. It's a very feel-bad change, in my opinion. Also, is the Brave Axe 10 weight or less? The Brave Axe is too heavy. Keep an eye on the barrels when the cursor flashes on them. The Brave Axe is too heavy right now, but there are, um build rings, which I guess the other motivation is to make it so that you can give the build ring to someone other than your steel pluser. Um, but I will be 100% honest, I think constitution is the lamest stat ever, and I usually just sell con boosters. The only reason I didn't sell the con booster here is because I knew about steel plus. Um, I'm never giving con to a unit, because the only units that have low enough con to need it are usually like fucking Pegasus Knights, who then it fucks up their rescuing. I don't know. I don't like boosting people's con. Um, I think boosting people's con is usually not worth an entire stat booster. Like, I'd rather sell it. Is that another boat? Have our prayers finally been answered? Did they perchance notice my panicked light show I was casting? In any case, if we can just hold out a bit longer, we'll be okay. Obstius, grant us strength. Con haters assemble. I, I don't necessarily dislike the system of Khan, but I do not think that it is worth a stat booster to adjust your unit's constitution stat. Um, mounted units have a universal 28 in this hack. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking more generally. Um, but yeah, that is something worth bearing in mind is that in this and uh, Thracia and Bells of Balin, um, mounted units don't get screwed over by Khan boosting. I still don't think... Uh, stat booster that boosts con is worth it. Like, I will almost always sell that. I what are you doing to us, Pete? Attacking a holy vessel like this? That just don't sit right. But he's the cap. He knows what's best for the crew. Still, maybe it'd be time for a fresh start. If I do want to repent, I've got holy men right here. Like, I think the problem of a unit with steel plus being the best user of a con ring is not 
a steel press problem so much as it is a constitution problem. 21. Okay, so we can have Rachel get this kill. I didn't know about the 28. Yeah, it's, um... I believe that's, in the mainline games, only a Thracia thing. Damn! That's a good level, Rachel. Off to a good start. Okay, Cassius. Look at this, 100% accuracy. Who says Cassius is bad? Why did he lose the poll? That's so tragic. People are underestimating Cassius, clearly. Look at that! Look at the actually really good level up. Holy mackerel. That was actually a really good level up. Holy macaroni. Okay, we will have Kenneth heal Rachel. Um, so we can reposition you. Natasha... Okay, Natasha can kill this guy. She does not one-shot with the Silver Axe, so we just use the Iron this time. Anyway, this song is a banger. It's Don't Wanna Sleep by Mannequin, transcription by Archer Bias of Double or Nothing fame. It is a very good track, I agree. It's very peak jams. We are just getting some very good levels. Natasha as well. Alright, I think... Yeah, so we shove. Oh, wait, reposition wouldn't actually. That's okay. We shove, shove. Shove. Is that a hand axe, by the way? That is a hand axe, right? It's an iron, okay. Okay, this might actually be a bit of a mistake. Okay, if we have Blair go here, equip fire, Stefan goes here, both of y'all, everyone just moving over to where they want to move. And we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Silver axes have been buffed, or if I just never noticed how strong they were until now. Um, so silver is... Silver is always a very, you know, strong weapon type. With the silver axes in particular, because axes are the high might weapon, um, the silver variant's just gonna deal a fudge ton of damage. I also know something is going on with these barrels. So Kenneth definitely doubles here, especially with, uh... FPS lowering spells my favorite. Wait, did that fuck up the FPS? I didn't notice. I'm all- I'm switching my look between- Was that the crit? That was the crit, right? That was the crit. That was a cool crit. Every custom cell lowers my FPD because my laptop sucks. Yeah, I've been switching- looking between, um, I've been switching looking between my totally real Game Boy Advance and, oh wait, that wasn't the crit, that's just what he does. Arcane Purple is really cool, that's just what he does. Unless I, maybe I'm messing up, I don't know. I've been looking back and forth though, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, so you go for, oh. You one-shot player. Okay, so this is the end. I'm sorry, everyone. Go on without me. Well, that was a good Iron Man, everyone. That was a good Iron Man. The Iron Man is over.
I think what we do is this instead. Weakest retina boat map warrior. Yeah, I can't believe we already lost the Iron Man. That's so sad. Alright, so this was a good starting. Fire Emblem boat stages are always really hard is what I'm learning. I'm actually thinking about making a video about boat maps specifically. Um, so... Yeah. Because boat maps are so cool. Epic me moment. Oh yeah, Burger King has the Silver Axe Warrior that one-shots half the cast. Doesn't he, like, one-shot Fiona at base? Damn, we lost those good level-ups, too. We lost those good level-ups because I didn't math. I just sort of assumed Blair would live. And that was my mistake. There's one in Sacred Stones that's really silly for no me reason. You mean the uh, the ghost ship? Ghost ship's pretty cool. Math is overrated. True. I refuse to submit to the math that they wish for me. Okay, hear me out. Natasha not getting defense is actually good <laughs> because it means we can activate fiery blood more easily. Copium, copium, copium. Uh, we go here. You go there. Maybe we'll make it to green unit phase this time around before we game over. I think this is the first time I ever lost an Iron Man on the ghost ship. I'll always have boat map trauma because of the Kraken in Shining Force 3. Oh, I noticed the slowdown this time. I noticed the slowdown this time. But yeah, MGBA does hate custom spell animations. But that makes sense because they're like one of the more intense parts of emulating custom ROMs. Here they come. Bonk. True, it allows her to proc on all the ammo an enemies in the game that do exactly 10 physical damage, which are very common. Yeah, exactly. Spells lowering your FPS doesn't matter, it's just funny. The funny always matters. The funny always matters. God, promoted Kenneth's animations are so cool. All the zero strength fighters you fight. I mean, we're gonna get a chapter like that very soon, right? Good job, Desmond. I'm proud of my boy. Oh, first Desmond level up! First Desmond level up! He got 2 HP on his first level up! Yo, he got 2 HP on his first level up! This is not a drill. Desmond enjoyers. He got 2 HP on his first level up. The run is blessed. HP is the best stat. It's like a point of resistance and defense at the same time, right? Ah, these lane lovers have never seen it coming. Who knew sneaking in members of me cruisy battles was so easy? Hey, Buck, over here. Show me the Shantiman style. One moment, boss. Just a little stuck and cramped. Ah, shall I chop the and open myself? We're good. Okay, so we can steal your vulnerary, which I guess will be Jeff's job.
Because Aaron can steal the... Well, she can't steal the pure water. Okay. Okay, so Desmond goes up here. He's gonna need some healing. Um... So I think we have... Natasha go this way? We kind of clogged up the gangplanks in an unfortunate way. But if we knock you down to 15, then Stefan can kill, yeah. So we do this. Currently playing this hack and I'm a chapter ahead of you. I'm sorry that I stole your good Cassius level. That's okay. I got a good Desmond level. So the map gimmick is that the barrels flash to reference reinforcements coming out of them next turn. It's as shrimple as that. It's just quite shrimple. Yoink is rescue priority. So... 28... Yeah, you, you fucking die, you fucking die. Okay. And you're the recruitable one? Yeah, you're the recruitable one. Okay. One, two. <sighs> this doesn't even kill. God, Rachel, you're so disappointing. Um... Okay, if we have... Okay, okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured out how we do this Cassius style. So we Iron Axe here, and then have Peggy... Or actually, I think we have Peggy set up the kill for Cassius. Because we are going to kill the Shaman. Did you check the recruitable one stats, or will you wait until the recruitment? I'm going to look over him during the recruitment, because I, um, see his growths then. But I, I checked out his, uh, his skills and stuff. So Cassius, just don't get one our end. Thank you. Benchmill stands still. The threat is the greens and especially Sid getting to him. Well, I've got Yoink for that. Like I can Yoink Sid if Sid gets if Sid becomes a problem. Uh, I will have Joseph shove Aaron. We'll steal the pure water. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You still have the frying pan, right? Yeah, you still have the fry pan. Okay. So then we flux you. And this also protects uh, Rachel from the pirate. Because now we've blocked off the area. Ooh, boat map? Yes, boat map. Very boat map. How's everyone doing tonight, by the way? Um, I guess we heal Desmond with Peggy? I could lay down a barrier to make the green units have to go around as well. With the ruin thing.
Uh, 28 versus 20. Okay, so he lives. So we'll do this. Yoink with him is five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can't. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh! One, two, three. I don't think I can shove him properly, but we'll see if I can shove him to the correct place. Yoink, man. He's just gonna yoink them all. Rachel is actually safe. I always forget how good pirate move is. Uh, he's not gonna be able to water walk two tiles. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm gas lamping myself. I'm pretty sure two tiles is like full pirate move. At least in the sacred stones it is. Like Ross moves two tiles at a time in chapter nine in the ocean. Is Aaron actually safe is the question. I don't think anyone else reaches her, even on the water tiles. Sword Reaver, no, Stefan! Stefan, how could you let him reave your sword? Ooh. Ooh! Oh, Warren! Well, I mean, it's a 50. It's a coin flip, but still. We did it, gamers. Okay, so now you're gonna move. All green units move. Oh! Reinforcements from there. Okay. So we're too shy. We just need to shove him twice, which we can do with Butch and Natasha. Oh, but then player... Ooh. We'll have to yoink next turn. That's unfortunate. We'll have to do the yoinking next turn. I heard lunatics get hit more often. Some guy in a house in chapter six or something. I need to get that stealable vulnerary. Yeah, that's not happening. Um, okay. Okay, we can Iron Axe this guy. Kill the Sword Reaver guy. I'll piss the monk. No! I recognize this theme from somewhere. For some reason, I keep thinking this map is from, theme is from Shantae. Uh, if you scroll up in chat, Retina did say what this was from. I just don't remember. Silver, too. We might have to... So I think Blair goes here. We heal up Natasha. Yes, I know this turns off fiery blood. But I still think that's ideal. Put the iron sword.
Okay, if we ruin staff here. Potentially funnel in the green units for a little bit. Like, I know they can go up this way, but I don't think they'll end up killing Bechmel. We can kill this guy with the Steel Sword and then heal up with Kenneth. Hop on Beckmail chat. It's a song from the band Main Skin, Don't Wanna Sleep. Gotcha, thank you. I had already, you told us already and I'd already forgotten. What's your, uh... Yeah, you two round, Cassius. And also there is a halberd. So I think my man Jeff goes there. Rachel grabs a ja uh, vulnerary and heals up. Light ruin strategies. They're the realist. Okay, and then we have you. Twenty three. Okay, so you go here, the iron axe. Okay, okay, I think this is good. We're gonna have the barrel reinforcements, but it's fine. Abyssia Monk, no! Rip Apistia Monks! Pasha style? It's very Pasha style. Goodbye, other Apistia Monk! God, these green units are getting fucking slaughtered. Oh, he's doubled! I mean, I should have guessed he was an armor knight, but still. Okay, good. This box is in the green pirates, so they can't reach our recruitable one. The existence of that red guy boxes in the green pirates, so they can't reach our recruitable. And they're, we're gonna get pirate on pirate violence, too. Like, we miss out on a steal of a vulnerary boohoo. Pashas had to move where he was in order to protect um, Blair, by the way. Is what ended up happening. Okay, you're gonna heal. Oh, you're all on heal AI. Okay, we can actually steal that vulnerary now. Oh, wait, no. Sid, Sid Final Fantasy's probably gonna... Or you will. Not sure what your plan is there, buddy. I cannot escape philosophy right now. Apollo! You're at one range, my man! Oh my god, and this green unit's in the way, too! Actually awful. Okay. We can recruit Apollo. You there, are you here to help us? You could say that. Is everyone all right? Unfortunately, we're the only ones left now. But your presence will at least help save those who remain. I'm Apollo, by the way. Wandering Monk of Pistia. Nice to meet you. Does your crew want to evacuate the boat? We should be able to keep you relatively safe. It would be quite unbecoming of us to idly sit by by that. Though once this battle is through, we'd appreciate that offer. All right, then. I'm Blair. If you're getting ready, let's go. But of course, I shall serve faithfully. Okay, so let's check out Apollo. 
Ooh, wait, who's Brandel? Oh, we met Brandel earlier. Okay, let's check out Apollo first. Apollo Sandile. Homeland Apistia. Age 22. Likes faith and travels. Dislikes breezes the cold. Occupation missionary. Pronouns he they. An acolyte from Apistia who travels the world to spread the holy word. He's a kind-hearted man who sees good in all. However, his dedication to the faith can come off as heavy-handed, especially given his tendency to leave fate in Apistius' hands instead of his own. As Apollo ma matured, he found himself in conflict with his family, so he eventually found himself taking residence in the local monastery where he met the Ars Archbishop Vladimir. The two bonded quickly, and with Vladimir's guidance, Apollo became an impassioned preacher. He left Apistia to travel to Olmaron and further spread the light that became his much needed refuge. And Brandel, Brandel Johannes Corian, the acting king of Elba Kor, although he is kind, although he is somewhat distant, although kind, he is somewhat distant thanks to the loss of his son many years ago. Still, he is determined to protect the country, and he offer, and offers Blair the all the assistance that he could reasonably afford. Okay. The king doesn't have pronouns. He's not woke enough for it. Okay, if you... Sixteen plus twenty-two is thirty-eight, right? Yeah. How's this? Oh, you can just straight up fucking one round him. Okay, Apollo, okay. Damn, where's Apollo Crocodile? I like Apollo's design and light mages are cool. Fucked up and evil that the map makes you work with less than useless greens. 60% magic's not a bad growth either. Yeah, I mean, decent speed, decent magic. I'm good with him. I'm good with him. Do this. We'll do this. Um, he does not double the pirates. So he doesn't one round them, so he doesn't kill them, so he doesn't suffer from success. Now. I believe. Okay, I think what I want to do... Grab this... Can we shove Civ Civ Final Fantasy? Yes. And then what we do... is just completely... Yeah, if we shove him again, then he can't reach. So he goes down here, probably. How does Butch do here? Less than ideal. Oh, can we one-shot with the Silver Axe? God, we're so... We're so close. Okay, I think we leave Butch here. Shove 
shove you down this way. Send the pirate down there. Send you there. Uh, Cassius style up this way. Do that. Okay. So you will be fine. Because you don't double and kill. Because you're only 3 AS faster. Have you checked the stats on light tomes? No, I haven't actually. I should take a look. Look, I'm I'm bad at Fire Emblem, okay? I don't do math. You think I do math? I don't do math. Are they like fucked up? It took me forever to realize that Bells of Balin had fucked up light tomes. Are light tomes in TMGC also fucked up? Goodbye, green unit. Goodbye, green unit. Hasta la vista. Okay, so Butch is gonna be fine here. Because then he'll get attacked by the hand axe, but he's also good. 20% crit lightning. Oh, is it also fucked up here? That's so cool. I love fucked up light tomes. It's not about math, it's about fun. I'm gonna go do my math homework, see you later. Okay, bye! Thanks for tuning in! Light here doesn't have crit. Damn, Retina, you're just not fucked up enough. I'm in in bells, I don't know what this hack is like. Okay, I will see, I will see, I will see after this enemy phase. Oh, very good use of your healing item, buddy. I'm sure that 2 HP is very meaningful. Goodbye, pirate. Oh, here come the pirates from there. Okay, so Sid has gone south, which is good. That's what we want. We want him away from the important action. Holy shit, Rachel, you suck so bad. Why is Rachel so fucking bad? Okay, okay, we can set up with an epic triangle moment. It's absurdly overkill hit, and high rank light tomes get fucked up in other ways. Oh, right, I should probably check it out. 165?! So Apollo never misses. Vengeance as a uh, combat art also, you know, quite good historically. Historically, it's been quite useful. Okay, we'll steal the mini gem. I should probably save this turn. Sam proving herself useful once again. Another pirate? But you seem so much more sorrowful. Aye, you got me. Name's Beckmel. Piracy! You'd be all I know since I was a wee lad. Hell, before that, me family were from the lowlands. If that hellscape be like the world's worst seas, except you cannot sail away. If you don't like this life, why not leave it? If only be that simple bucko. 
I just happen to be in the company of a fine young lady. I imagine she needs all the strength she can get, and I trust her cause to be one of noble intent. Are you saying there'll still be a chance for old me? Apistius tells us that those who seek it, there will be salvation. Take my hand and begin your new path with the head held high. Thank you. It is a piracy end here. Still gonna fight like one, because that's all I know. Change be hard, okay? Alright, so let's check out 19 strength, 13 speed. Uh, very good strength growth, decent speed growth. Defense, not so much. 115 HP. And what does he get at 15? Heavy strikes? Okay, what does heavy strikes do again? I saw that earlier. Savior, ready, aim, despoil, swarp, charge, step mastery, quick repose, anathemia, heavy strikes. Add weight to crit. Oh, okay. Pretty decent, pretty decent, especially because he has 11 con. So, like, he can not get slowed down as well. Change do be hard. Wait, is the missing HP to damage 1 to 1 in this game? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I think it's, what, divided by 4? Nope, divided by 2. Still quite strong. Like, that's an extra 10 damage right there. Okay, so we can have Kenneth. Alright, Kenneth can do this, and then we can kill with Bachmel. Heavy Strikes is a bit lame. I might have to buff it. Yeah, that's a problem. Alright, Sam, you are the backup plan. Sam, you are the backup plan. Alright, Bakmal. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, Sam, you got this. I believe in you. By which I mean you have 100%, so, you know. Couldn't have missed, even if you wanted to. Right, okay, we can kill you with La Rachel. By which I mean just regular Rachel. By the way, the proper pronunciation is Giuseppe. Oh, good to know. Good to know. Glad to know that I was getting it exactly correctly. I think Beck might appreciate Heavy Strikes getting buffed. I think Stefan might appreciate... Strength plus two! Yo! 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 Strength plus two! <coughs> he reached the strength cap. That just means we take the ankle weight off of him. No holding it back anymore. He was holding himself back with the weight and he doesn't need to anymore. He's reached peak Cavalier. He's so close to his level 15 skill as well. Like, once he gets his skill, we're going fucking wild. Oh, 
Okay, hopefully Sid Final Fantasy attacks the Hand Axe guy. What are you doing, green units? What is the Brave Axe weight? I believe it's 13. I can't steal it. I know that much. I can't steal the Hand Axe or the Brave Axe. No, Sid! Okay, Sid Final Fantasy will deal with these soldiers. I do want to get Stefan leveled up. I do want to get Stefan leveled up. All right, Cassius Style does not have the hammer. It's on Blair, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we will supply, give that, take the hammer, give it to Cassius Style. Boom, bonk. Jeff has like 12 base on promotion. If his, if his base is 12, then it's not enough for the Brave Axe, but it would be enough for the Hand Axe, but he's also not ready for promotion yet. Which is fine. Ace of 14, Ace of 15. Have Stefan do some Sistefaning. This song is so awesome. This song is so awesome. Might need the Hand Axe. Somehow I feel like it's not worth grinding two levels to steal the Hand Axe, even if it is a pre-nerf wrong. I mean, I wouldn't have done it even if it weren't for the nerf. Um. Oh, whoops, wrong. I was trying to shove Jasmine. That's my, like, that's my thing, is that the nerf only affects people who are, like, already doing the super abusive thing, and they're just going to abuse it more now. And then it negatively affects us honest thieves. Which is so rude. You've no one to blame but yourself. I blame, I blame Retina. I blame Retina, actually. No! Buddy, you're going the wrong way! Oh wait, no, fry pan. Never mind, Sid, actually you're a gamer. Oh, was it this barrel? Did this barrel flash? I think that barrel flashed. And now he'll go for the soldiers. Wait, who got nerfed? Jeff got nerfed. I blame Retina though. Retina got so mad that I stole the Silver Axe, which makes me like, confused honestly, cause I don't know what the Silver Axe is there for then. Like what the body ring and the Silver Axe are for. It's the barrel next to Jeff. Okay. But they're not ambush spawns, so it's fine. We'll just move everyone to be ready. They'll be ready spaghetti. We'll cash a style. Wait, oh, you have a javelin. Okay, we'll go up here. Just nine defense. Four, yeah, so we'll go up here.
I don't want to end the map until Stefan is ready to remote, though. Because he's close. He's very close. My boy is close. Being able to loot, get two full server, server, silver axes from Chapter 8 loot was a bit fucked up. I mean, you're trading a, uh... You're trading a body ring for it. I think the bigger concern is just it once deployment slots become a thing, it's going to make him just not ever worth deploying. Why are you using the sword slayer against the soldier, you silly goober? Just wait until he reaches his potential. Oh! You're wyverns! Hello, wyverns. Okay. First, we'll kill this wyvern. You deploy Jeff because he's a plus one move sortie that doubles everything ever. Yeah, but his stats are so bad. Like, aside from speed, his stats are actually awful. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Eight strength? 50% growth is not terrible, but like... Everyone else has much better growths on their attack- on their primary attacking stats. Even Blair. Okay, Cassius style. 19. Can we do another 19? Okay, Blair can one round whoever she wants. Emil plus Cassius style can kill this guy. That's a 195 offensive spread with ankle weight. Retina, you are coping so hard right now. You are co coping so hard right now to justify a change that was explicitly made to upset Morsode. Yo! Look at that right there. Look at that right there. Cassius style is gaming as well. I like both early Cavaliers. I like both of these early Cavaliers. I'll say it. I'll say it. I don't need them to fight anymore. I've embraced their 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 love story. Cassius style is so cool of him. It really is. It really do be is. If you give him all the stat boosters, he's good, I promise. He's Jafon, the potential man. Sam finally got speed. No strength still. Yo, Stefan is doubling without Adept! Yo, Stefan is doubling without Adept! That right there? That's the Stefan moment of all time. Can we adjust the Stefan moments counter to be positive? Because we've got two positive Stefan moments in this stream. Doubling without... Doubling without needing Adept and capping strength off of a plus two level up. Stefan has finally arrived. Okay, we reposition Sid Final Fantasy. We rescue this green unit. I want Stefan to fight this pirate. Or this archer, I mean. The sniper, whatever it's called. Meanwhile, we'll move all y'all up. Heal you. Make a second Stefan counter affectionate. Do a ratio. 
Can't we just accept that Stefan moments are just always positive now? We could flux and then rescue, I think, probably is the ideal way to do it. Yeah, I think we flux and then rescue. Stefan moments derogatory. Guar har har, you face Shanti Pete himself. Your life and treasure are but for me and me mate. I really like this boss music. It's quite good. 69. Nice. Stefan moments apathetic. Oh. Oh, they're coming from the barrel. Okay. Well, we can leave this sniper be then, I guess. Like, he's just gonna fuck around with the green units. Do this. Look, the homies! The homies are hanging out! Okay, Blair. Go up here. Do that. Who has the ankle weight now? Is it on Kenneth? Yeah, it's on or it's on Joseph. I swear one of these days I will get the names right. Stefan moments disgusting. Are the homies dissing? Sniper, no sniping. Banana? Like the banana fenders? Benders? I like the banana benders. God, look at this shit. The potential has finally arrived. Okay, so Cassius style can kill this soldier. Stefan style can kill this sol- can they kill the pirate? Cassius style kills the soldier? Yeah, okay. So Cassius style kill the soldier. Just a couple of enemies. Cassius doubles the soldier. Doubling soldiers isn't a big deal, more so. Doubling soldiers isn't a big deal. I don't know who told you it was. Stefan doubles the pirate. Look at this. Look at this. Now that's the big deal. Okay, so then we will have Desmond do an epic triangle moment. 11 is to 25. Ooh. We can do this. We can do this. Watch. Watch, it'll actually be good. It'll actually be good and fine. Doubling the pirate means killing the pirate, which means less chip experience, which means less growth, which means Stefan is bad. Yo, how did you know that? Yeah, no one has two range. So we actually hand axe with Natasha. That's Quixotic having work. Me when I refuse to use the Silver Lance. Oh fuck, I forgot! He has a Silver Lance! I mean, fuck the Silver Lance! I could have killed with the Steel- Oh no, the Steel Lance is on Joseph, right? 
Yeah, I could have given the trade of the Steel Lands, because how much was he short by four? Oh, I did have to use the Silver. But still, like, I should have just used the Silver Lands. I just legitimately forgot about it. Oh, well. That happens. Twenty-nine. He does get doubled by the Merc. Eighteen magic. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can we get her six tiles? One, two. Yeah, we can get her six tiles. Okay. Okay, so we have to go here, here. Canto. Shove. Shove. Wait. Oh, you have phys- Oh, you have physic, don't you? Wait, who has physic? One, two, three. She needs three more. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. I should have shoved her sideways with Beck. Oh. Yeah, I fucked up. Oh, no. Okay. I don't know why her range was so different. Maybe it's because no one was in healing range, but yeah, no, I got it. I got it. Okay, so we heal Desmond all the way up. Natasha's also promoting after this? Oh, definitely. Like, we're getting Stefan and Natasha to promotion time. It's promotion time for the homies. Was the Yoink her top staff when you checked? Yoink is in the other guy's inventory, actually. Emil's inventory. Alright, so Sid Final Fantasy is going to frying pan the archer. More pirates out of those barrels. Barrel full pirates. Okay. So, Stefan can bonk this guy. We Stefan style here. It was checking the ruined staff. So it only checks the topmost staff. Okay, good to know. Cassius style here. Yeah, Iron Axe. Because she's also nearly at 15. And then we cash his style, the soldier. Oh my god, really? Natasha's... So close. Natasha's so close. Alright, I think we do now heal Desmond. Is this Thracia 776? No, this is two Milkmen Go Comedy. Uh, it is a ROM hack by Retina, who is in chat with a Luigi face um, profile picture. 
the Luigi Glare from the Mario Karts. Alright, we're gonna get barrels from the those ships. Alright, Mr. Sniper, you are dead. I'm so sorry. Sid Fire Emblem is going to kill you. With his frying pan. Okay, so what we can do... We go here. Take... drop a -rooney. We heal up Cassia style. Because you have milk and there's men and comedy. Why is it called Two Milkmen Go Comedy? Uh, that is a placeholder title that became the permanent title. Kind of like Triangle Strategy or the various ones like that. Even though Retina said it would never actually do a Triangle Strategy, um, it did become the permanent title as a placeholder title. So take that. I actually included the quote um, in one of my earlier thumbnails of like, why TMGC? Oh, don't worry, it's just a placeholder title, I promise. Vanillaware behavior? True, Retina's a Vanillaware archetype. Uh, Sid's not a game over, is he? By the way? Like, I assume he just says, I must retreat, but... Just making sure. Okay, we got more of you. Alright, so this will get Natasha to level 15. My dog is eating dirt right now. Yummy! 2216! Yo! Danny, this is Hugh FE6 extending his hand towards the viewer. Not Luigi. Oh, I thought it was like the evil Luigi from Mario Kart. Also, what did she just get? I looked away. Oh yeah, she got Wrath! He doubles again with no help! Oh my god, he's so close. Stefan, you're edging you're edging us so hard right now, buddy. Is it this square? Okay, so if we... One, two... Twenty-five versus fifteen, ten. So yeah, he lives. He lives. Okay. And that ought to take care of that. So now we can have everyone else move towards actually taking care of the boss. Move you up, move you up, move you up. Okay. How do the barrels get there? Do they live there? What is the lore behind generic battles? Pete snuck them into the boat. Don't question it. Look at this. Look at my boy. The potential has been reached! Wait, oh fuck, I didn't do- I forgot about water walking. 
you might unironically want to save state and promote everyone in preps to see the cool mugs. Why would I need to save state for that, though? Like, why would I need to save state for promotion? Is Twerking Wario an emulator plugin? Uh, Twerking Wario is my VTuber avatar. We did it. We did it, Reddit. We got him to his potential. Oh, hello! Okay. So we can Iron Axe here. This one's 100% accurate, so we'll do that. Bonk. This game has promoted mugs. Yes, almost everyone has um, a different mug when they promote versus unpromote. Save time? How does that save time? Like, genuine question, how does that save... Like, I don't understand. I've wanted the vi that in vanilla for a while. It happens with a few characters in vanilla, but it's ex incredibly rare. It's quicker to load a save state than to reset the game. But if I know I'm promoting people anyway, like what, what possible reason would I have? It's not like this branching promotions, right? Where we need to see what their different bonuses are. I don't care what Stefan's bonuses are. I'm not going to leave him unpromoted. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. But I think we kill with Aaron, or we could kill with Jeffon. Wait, who has the ankle weight? Who has the ankle weight again? It's like, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, we could do this, but then we die if we get if we get one our end, though, that's so bad. Like, if Jeff gets one R end there, that's very bad. And the only iron sword- Oh wait, no, we have an iron sword on Butch. Because I was going to say the only iron sword's on Stefan. I mean, this is- this. There's still a chance to get one R end here. Um, where's Blair? If we reposition Blair, then we can get him Charisma, and now there's no chance to get one R end. So we just Jeff on. Guar har. Mighty fine skills. Yuri or something. Easy rally luck. Just give him an iron sword and rally. Um can I ask y'all please not to backseat? Like, it is a strategy game. I'm trying to figure out the strategies on my own. Um, I understand that you're just excited and trying to be helpful, but that's why I have it on the screen. Uh, I, I, I am trying to play this, not have chat play it for me. It seems that the pirates are retreating. I think that's it for now. Excuse me, milady. The name's Apollo. I'm with the boat you protected. Thank you for that, by the way. Anyway, we've got... Bit of a problem. Our boat's trashed. We're going nowhere. Would you like to travel with us? We're headed to Apistia ourselves. Would that truly be all right? Aye, lad. We got the goods. We got the room and can't just leave you adrift. 
I mean, we could, but the last may not approve of that. I'm still here, Captain. Thank you, you've truly saved us. If the time comes, I will fight for you. It's only right after what you did. Yeah, yeah, get on, get on with Moon. We got lots of sea left to go. Oh, another uh, walking map. Another walking map. Another interlude walking map. Survivors from the Aspistian vessel are allowed to travel with Blair, both as an act of goodwill and to appeal Apistia. Several days have passed with almost nothing of note, a rare moment of peace within the off-turbulent lives of those aboard. Well, lassie, the winds are favoring us. We're making good time to Apistia. I'd guess we're another four or five days at most. Excellent. So what'll be your plan anyway? Dragging Apistia into the war? That's not quite how I'd phrase it, but I suppose you could see it that way. While the Apistians are normally a pacifistic nation, they've historically stepped in during major conflicts. I'd call the Estragan invasion worthy of their consideration. Aye, I suppose you've never been one for politics myself. All of me disputes are settled either with a slip of air or a good clubbing. You could just call this war a large-scale clubbing. It'd be more complex, though. <sighs> Indeed. We've nothing better to do. I say, give your eyes a holler. Depending on how the cards fall, these may be the last of your peaceful moments for a long while. I'm sure everyone's got a lot on their minds. That's what I do with me crew anyway. Good idea, Captain. If I remember correctly, there's also some pirate-run shops on this boat. Wouldn't hurt to see what they have available. Blair, you have no money. I mean, we do have a mini gem singular that we can sell. Where is it? It's on Aaron? Yeah. Okay, there's no base. We can promote Jafon and we can promote Jafon and uh uh where is she? Natasha. I know that you said to show off the mugs of the people who I'm not going to promote um, with the save state. But I don't want to do that. Uh, most of the people I'm going to be using long term, I will be promoting at some point anyway. And I'll let their mugs be a surprise, right? Does Jeff get a level 15 skill? Yeah, quick repost, I think it is. Yeah, quick repost. Uh, which is like extra speed on counterattack, if I'm remembering correctly. You get a full level out of killing the boss. If I could leave you to die, I could leave you to die, but then Blair would be sad. Sid TMGC. I don't want to do that. It would eat up so much time, and I'd rather them be surprises when I promote people. Like, and just see, oh, that's so cool. Like, for example, Natasha's menthols are going to show up in this one. Guarantee it. Doesn't get doubled and always doubles when attacks. But isn't that what his 110% speed growth is for? Master seals and gems at the top instead of buried. Oh, thank you. Also, love that little warrior, little warrior shoulder pads. Beautiful, beautiful. Honestly, those promo bonuses are fucking awesome too. Retweet if warrior. Sam outdated. I should probably... There's steals available. One hundred and eighty for fucking light? You weren't kidding about it being overkill amounts of, uh... of accuracy.
Do we sell the book as well? Or actually, we got a bunch of keys we can sell. I want to buy another bow. I mean, Sam is close to retirement, right? I guess before we make any financial decisions, let's see what uh, Stefan looks like promoted. Both shop is humble, but it has steals. The steals are appreciated. The steals are appreciated. I thought it was legitimately just going to be irons. I was going to laugh. That would be funny. That would be funny. You need bows for warrior anyway. That's what I meant. Like, I gave the bow t from Sam to Natasha. Okay, so he's just, like, generic Sacred Stones Paladin. I imagine that the other ones... Like, I imagine that this is the, the general Romhack Paladin approach, where, like, they all promote into a different weapon pair. Uh, so Jafon is just general. General, basic bitch, um... Basic bitch Romhack Paladin, but he'll take Stefan's Steel Lance. Oh, I like his- he has the little sash, right? That's the new one in the bottom left. The little sash. What does Knight Aspirant do? Okay, so if he's at 75% or higher HP... He gets plus 2 attack, plus 15 avoid, and, and this is the big one, he can adept without spending extra durability. And since adept is 6 durability, that's huge. It basically means this stat doesn't fucking matter. Because Jafan will always double. We can do that. Give him back his rightful ankle weight. Like, just make him have a busted strength stat for... Well, so I guess Jeff will be promoting more... Or will be leveling up more often. Than Stefan. But, like, I want Stefan to cap his strength as soon as possible. And whenever possible, I'm going to try to get the ankle weight onto him for his level ups. Alright, uh, do we sell... What do the chest keys sell for again? 75. It's not that I want to hoard chest keys, it's that 75 is so little, I want to make sure that it actually does something for me, as opposed to the potential of, like, being able to throw the chest key on someone, right? Um, so it pushes me over to... Let's have Natasha give Sam back the Iron Bow and buy a brand new one, to start out. Which puts us at 800. This would push us to 900. Does 900 make a difference for shopping versus 800? The steals are each 800, right? Yeah, so everything's in multiples of four. Well, so I guess a Nightfall? Or a Mend? It potentially does if we sell... If we sell this as one of our secret books, which I think we want to... I think we want to sell one of our secret books. Because the only unit who seems to have exceptionally bad skill is Beck Mail. Everyone else is, like, just decent hit rates. I mean, so Jeff... Not the best. Base and growth. But he uses swords. So it's less of a problem. Yeah, no one else who whose skill matters, that is. I guess Desmond, but like he can leverage epic triangle moments, so it doesn't actually matter. No one really wants the secret books. No oh okay, Cassius style kind of does. I'm sorry, Rachel fans, but Rachel's almost certainly getting benched, like fairly quickly. 
Cash's style definitely wants skill books. Willingly selling your secret books when you're trying to use Cassius and Jeff? I know, but like, how else do I buy shit? We can give the honey charm to Cassius. Like, when we give the Honey Charm to Cassius, it's a 60% skill growth, which is decent. I guess I don't really need steel weapons that badly. Yeah, I think we just buy a heal staff for Aaron. It only fixes weak growths pretty much. Cassius is pretty good growth with the honey charm. Yeah. The character designs are generally very good. I like them. I agree, I also like them. Okay, so we can chat with everyone. The walking maps. This is cool. This is cool. Okay. Fancy seeing you here, Blair. What's up? Just checking in. How have you been, Natasha? I've been splendid. It's a wild ride getting here, and I live for that. To be frank, my village, it's great, of course, but it's not really what I call exciting. Who knew you were trying to turn up nearby would result in all of this? It still doesn't feel right dragging you all along like this. You don't get it, Blair! There's nowhere I'd rather be! It had been far too long since I'd seen you, and hey, this is as good an excuse as any to stick around. Wouldn't want you dying without me. I'm glad to hear that. You should be! I'll keep you alive one way or another. Natasha's resi- Ooh! So they all get bonuses! Hmm, perhaps us Dalstians would have much to gain from allying with the Southern Pirates. Then again, this is quite the rare breed of men. Not everything needs to be some political power play, Kenneth. I suppose that's a fair point. Besides, what would we gain out of it? Much of Dahl's trade is either over land or through warp magic. And sea-based invasion is quite unlikely. It's just be a truce for those rare moments when we do need the sea. Not an unvaluable resource, but one at a steep cost for little benefit. Keeping the pirates on one side sounds like a fool's errand. And yet, elbacor has got a good thing going. As I said, Sid's different. When I said it's a fool's errand, I never specified who the fool was. The man was has immense sway over the king, yet squanders it. Of course, there may be factors of which I'm unaware. But as it stands, it's puzzling. Just the way I see it, I guess. Perhaps what you need is a bit more faith in people. Whatever you say, Blair, I'm here to help make sure your back stays unstabbed. DEFENSE! DEFENSE! He got defense! Not everyone gets bonuses? Oh, is it just the first ones you talk to? Natasha with fucking three res compared to Kenneth getting a free defense that he absolutely doesn't need? Just you wait, he'll live at one. Ah, Blair, how are you holding up? I'm well, all things considered. It's been an exhausting road. But you know that... Thanks for all of this. I'm hardly the only reason that you've made it this far. Don't you undersell your own skills, both on and off the battlefield? But that's the thing, you're a greater fighter than I ever could be. And you've practically been my tactician. I owe everything up to this point to you, if you insist. Anyway, if you haven't yet, you should check in on the others. As always, it's great to see you. Uh, are there people up here? Yeah, there were. Okay, I'll get to them. I'm assuming that talking to Sid ends this, so I'll get to them later. You seem to eat the thought, Emil. Ah, uh, Blair. Being here just had me thinking. Have you ever noticed that the realms of anima magic has certain limitations? Because one of those limitations appears to be with water. 
For one reason or another, the forces driving in have always seem incompatible with water, at least directly. I never thought to notice that, but I guess you're right. Though our magic can still interact with it in a sense. Of course, fire, magical or not, will always boil a liquid. Likewise, electricity will course through it. What about ice magic? Isn't that basically water? That's slightly more complex. I've been meaning to test it myself. But I believe the current prevailing theory is that ice is a subset of wind, specifically using wind to cool off and freeze water in the air. That's why most functional ice spells involve wind in their scripts. As for why water can't directly be called upon, it's one of our greatest mysteries. There's propositions, of course. Some believe that water is simply too complex for such a primal force, while some think that it has something to do with the water within living things. But I'm rambling now. Apologies, Blair. You've nothing to apologize for. I enjoy learning from you. Well, hello there, young lady. How have you been holding up, Peggy? Hard to say. On the one hand, I hate boats with every fiber of my being. On the other, at least this isn't a boring adventure. Good work keeping things interesting. You're welcome? I mean, you're part of why we made it this far. You're why we ended up in Kenosis in the first place. You're damn right. I am the true hero here. I was just joking there, but saying that has actually felt really good. I'm glad to hear. Look out, world! You can't stop me now! Peggy's strength increased by two! I forgot the gamer lore. Oh, because there's no water spells. Greetings. How goes it, milady? Is the boat treating you well? As well as you'd expect. How have you been? Frankly, I'm torn. On the one hand, this relative peace has been lovely. I've heard it's true what true warriors strive for, and they have a point. On the other hand, I don't want to get rusty, lest my guard fail you in the worst of times. Have you asked any of Sid's men to spar with you? Training against axe users may be fortuitous. Ah, uh, about that. They all ran off when I suggested that. Wonder if they saw me cleaning up Pete's gang and got scared. When you say cleaning up, you mean... Just taking them down, and maybe taking their gold. The way I see it, their ill-gotten gains may as well serve as a grander purpose. Do Sid's men really think I'll snatch up their treasure like that? Well then, thanks for checking in. Ah, uh, I was hoping he'd get luck. Hey. How have you been, Butch? Can't complain. I mean, I could, but that'd just be nitpicking. It's funny, really. One minute I'm clinging to the Mevion, trying to get a I an iota of glimpse of what I thought they felt. That fleeting feeling of fighting for the cause, just like the revolution. Thought I'd lost it forever, frankly. And yet, I think I'm starting to feel again. Fighting here. I don't know if Peggy told you anything of me. She'd probably just talk about when I almost died. How she saved my life, and yeah, I appreciate it. But in a way, your motley gang has saved me a second time. So, you know, not bad for someone as young as you. Giving me more reason to fight beyond just searching for said reason. Hey. Hello, Jeff. Glad to see you still around. Did you think I'd run off? Probably deserve that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to come off like that. I'm genuinely just glad to have you in our army. Why are you smiling like that? Aren't there better people to talk to? Much as you deny it, you're one of us, Jeff. There's good future for you. Whatever you say. Meow! Is that a cat on this boat? Cute little critter. Get over here. Oh, okay, Jeff's luck increased. More sewed reference. This boat seems big. Retina, is that a Zelda CDI reference? Wait, what? What? There's a CDI reference? Oh, alas! I just be picking up a few things from Cat and Sid. Every crew has their way, so I gotta make sure I fit in. Glad to hear you're getting along. I'd be quite grand. I hate to speak ill of mates, but, well, alas, to be honest, they were the worst. How could I have known that through. No. Spent me whole life with him. That'd make any piece of scum your drum. But now I can do what I love about this life. I can explore the seas and see your beauty. And I wouldn't give it up for all the booty on all moron. Shh. It's alright, Timon. It's just a boat. 
Uh, apologies, milady. My Pegasus Tiamont here, she's a little stressed. Fickle creatures, Pegasus I are. You were alright with caring about both me and Cassius and Demevion, and yet you can't handle a bow? Is there anything I can do? Tiamont, be a good Pegasus. Don't worry, I'm sure this will pass. Maybe I'll take her out of, fly out of flying for a little while. Would that cheer you up, girl? Fine, I'll feed you! A little bit early, but you serve us well. Anyway, thank you for checking in, milady. Good day. HP, I guess. Milady, Have you been keeping well? It truly is an honor to see you! I should be saying that to you, Stefan. You've been such a valuable ally. See? See? He is valuable! You flatter me, milady, but I'm just doing my duty. I know I can push myself further and service all the better. You say so. Just don't overdo it, please. No promises, milady. Anyway, I'm off to run 400 laps around the deck of the ship. A pleasure seeing you. Greetings, milady. How do you fare? I've been quite all right. What about you, Desmond? I've been well, considering recent events. There's a reason why I'm your commander. I handle challenges well. Adaptability has been key in these past few weeks. Never thought I'd have to fight in the swamps or on a volcano or on a boat. You sound more surprised about the boat than the volcano. Yeah, again, challenging couple of weeks. Clearly, it's getting to me. It also doesn't help that I've been without a horse for a while now. Maybe we'll get lucky? You'll find your horse again? I won't hold my breath, milady. Ah, the spray of the ocean! I could get used to this! Greetings, Cassius. Ah, Lady Blair! Don't go sneaking up on me like that. So, what do you need, anyway? I was just checking in. I heard you mention the ocean spray? Right, yeah, that'll sound somewhat silly coming from me, but it's refreshing. Maybe it's just because I rarely experience it, but it's nice. You ever think about that? I know. Me thinking. Terrifying. No, you're right. It's quite lovely. Keep yourself well, milady. Apistius knows we need that. Meanwhile, I'll just think a little more. Oh, Cash's skill. Cash's skill. I like how Rachel is damaged on the map now. True. And there. I think my aim's getting better. What? Blair, I didn't notice you. I'm just practicing my archery. It's nothing remarkable. I'd hardly say that. You're a valuable member of this army. Really? You're not just saying that, right? Of course not. Glad to hear that, but I'm still not good enough. That's why I have to keep pushing myself to become someone that I can be proud of. Very well. Just know that you're doing great as it is. Again, thank you for letting us travel with you. You've truly been a blessing to us all. It's nothing, Apollo. We have more than enough room anyway. Anyway, since I've never been to Apistia, is there anything I should know? Funny you should ask. I believe I was visited by a vision. It told me that we will find ourselves in the desert soon, and that the treasures beyond our understanding are hiding. The lonely Isle of Thunder, the stairways of delight. A corner near the Delta. Those might be important places. I see. If Apistius told you of those, then they must indeed be important. I shall write that down for you, Blair. Thank you for visiting. Oh, awesome. I was going to say, I need to... to I'm going to need to consult this, but no, they gave me the note. Perfect. You good with your mates, Les? Yes. I believe so. Well then, shall we gaze over the fast horizon? The sea's always clear in my mind after a long voyage. It's truly marvelous, Captain. It makes me feel insignificant. Huh. Never thought of it like that. I guess you can see here forever. And there is a lot to see. We can find something different. I always saw it as a vast land of promise. A land that challenges me to leave my mark on it. In any way I can. But hey, as I said, that be a real beauty. The meaning you find in it. There's a comfort in knowing that no matter what, your worries are meaningless in the grand scheme. I... Did you mean what you said back in town? That I didn't need to help you back at Loli? That? Of course, lass. I would have lied to you. Well, then what was the point? Well, if you weren't going to deny me, then why say no to free help? Someone who knows how to make a guy feel bad. But hey, let that teach you a lesson, lass. 
You don't need to fight everyone's battles for them. You don't gotta prove yourself to everyone you meet. Well, I made the last mod of me, mateys. Put Sid out of his misery! It's alright. I really have been doing everyone's dirty work. Not just for you, but for Dalst. Rubbing salt in the wound, lass. But I guess I should have been more honest with you. You're starting now. I think that counts for something, Captain. You think mighty of me, lass. Thanks. Enough moping. I got navigating to do. A bright path to chart. And maybe I need to chart a path on my, my own. Down with the ship! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna get the shipwreck map right after the boat map, too. So if I'm not mistaken, we're nearly to Apistia. Quite fortunate that we haven't run into any more pirate trouble. Indeed, with any luck we'll arrive without incident. And from there we can meet. That's the, the crashing noise. I'm really good at this. Captain, we've been stuck! Something's shooting us with explosive cannonballs! What in hell? Who be brainless enough to fire on me? I think I see a ship over there with- Wait, don't tell me! That flag! How did Yastrago find us? Why are they here? This is very obviously not Elba Core. Blast! I can already feel her going down! Twas nice knowing you trade winds! No sense in crying over spilled ships though. Give me a moment, lass. What is he? Is that a torch? Don't tell me he's joining in the destruction. Hey, I'm not that mad. I was signaling another ship. When your inference is me, you gotta make some connections. Any pirate worth their spill, give me a hand if need be. Let me see what they're signaling back at me. Captain, we've been struck again! I know! I hear the same cannons as you dolts! Anyway, we be in luck, lassie. I'm older favor by a certain crew. That boat over there will get you out of here. It's a small vessel and their navigator's something else. Once you get near them, they'll open up their deck. It's not gonna get any easier, and you're get- Go and gather your crew. Oh, I love this music too. I forget what it's from. I recognize it though. I've played this game, or else it's been in other ROM hacks. I'm not sure which. As unexpected Yastragan naval forces emerge from several sides, the trade winds ascend a flame. As the ship begins to sink and the Yastragan forces close in, Sid reveals his hand and commandeers a nearby vessel. However, commandeering it is only half the battle. The Yastragan navy stands between Blair's party and the ship to freedom. It's a Toro! Sir, their hull's been breached. Their vessel's taking water. It also appears that there's another vessel further away. Perhaps an escape route? Ha! Brilliant. I knew this would be a worthy diversion. If I may, sir, why are we doing this again? Surely Valden's order is the word of the Emperor. And as far as I know, you've been told to not to partake in these so-called goose chases. Does that bastard think this is a waste of time? This young lord's been a thorn in my... In Yastraga's side since this war began. Once I take her down, they'll recognize my genius. And if they disagree, well... That's what this piece for. The Arcanal. The strongest axe for the strongest man of all time. You're a smart man, Jonas. You know to make it... Wa to make way for the strong. Of course, sir. My orders? Take a position near the planks we've set up. Charge their army as they attempt to escape. I've got some final preparations to make. Then all this will land. Very well. Why am I stuck under him? After this battle, I am transferring to Valden's unit. Sane man and Amara's in it. I wonder how she's been. Not the time, of course. Captain, we've been struck! You're probably tired of hearing that. Ain't the time to talk, lass. You gotta get a move on now. What about you? That man is unfathomably powerful. Unfathomable power, eh? Sounds like a challenge for me boys. We'll fight him off, and then regroup. But your mission's too important to risk. You gotta get to Opistia and find a way to end this war. Very well. Thank you, Captain. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Aye, yes. Get a move on now. I reckon there's not much time before even that tiny boat can escape. Just remember, me mate will drop one gangplank once you're near. Of course, good luck. Well, boys, this may be it for us. We've been a proud man of the sea. 
to go down swinging against tyranny. That's a glorious end in my book. May your fortunes be vast, young lassie. Alright, we can use everyone. First off... So this is where we need to get. It's an escape map. Let's go to the base first. Rogues and Redeemers. Hi, Captain. I just wanted to thank you for giving me another chance. What do you mean, lad? I didn't choose you. I know, but still. In the short time I've known your crew, it's... Well, it's been wonderful. Not to speak ill of Pete, but he was a bastard. I use him, and I go way back. Good pirate, but nay a good pirate. That's something I've learned. There is a difference between righteous freedom and a ruthless chaos. I admit, I've done many things back in my day. But then I realized, don't have to be that way. I think I see what you mean. This life be our birthright, yet we don't have to live in a shadow. That's why Pete near came more than was. The man clung to his dreams of a bygone age. I'm glad to be here, to have a chance to speak. Come, take this gem and give it to someone important. It's hardly anything, but it'll do more good than you're done to me. Of course, lad, you're a fine man. Perhaps one day this crew will be yours. Okay, so we have money now. Take this gem. And give it to someone important. I mean, I say we have money. We have a little bit of money. Uh, oh, is there... I didn't think there would be anything in this, in this map, but still. Okay. Back to the base. Uh, Rachel and Jeff. Sam and Emil. We skipped that one already, right? No. We skipped uh, Blair and Emil. Apollo and Beck... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Beckmeal fans. But... I don't like him. I didn't use Sale. I'm probably not using Beckmail. Or Be Beckamel? Beckamel? Pirate. I'm not using Beck. Stefan and Desmond, on the other hand. Sir Desmond, how do you fare? I've been better, I'll admit, especially given current events. But that's not going to stop me. Well spoken, sir. It's an it's inadversary that we it's in adversity that we must all hold fast. We must never let our guard down. Never's a strong word. Hopefully we'll one day see peace again. Even in peace, we must be ready for anything. After all, didn't the peace we knew shatter in a mere instant? Alas, I suppose you're right. Still must we carry on like this? I'm sure there must be some path that ends in a lasting security. Well, we all wish that, sir. But to achieve that, we must fight on. Of course, that is our duty as knights of Erkelin. Let us never forget that. Uh, Sam and Joseph, we'll push that. We'll push that one up because they're both units that I don't think will last long term. You're right there, Sam. Things have been hectic. I, I think I'm holding up for a bit. You sure? Sound a bit tense. Need to shoot to release. Need to shoot me to release stress. I appreciate the thought, but now's not the time. I'm just nervous, all right. That's only natural. After all, we're in quite a hellish position. There's a significant chance that we all die out here, and wait, that's probably not helping. <laughs> I uh, everything will be fine. You got me your side. Thank you. Uh, Apollo and Beckmeal. Apollo has a lot. I'll keep Apollo then, because I do actually think I might use Apollo long term. He seems cool. Sam and Emil. Rachel and Jeff. I know Rachel's my first and, at the moment, only flyer, but, like, god, her combat is so disappointing. Look at this loser. Look at that loser. Uh, so they're gonna chase me. Is 
Is John here? There's another stealable leg ring, but like... That doesn't seem worth it. Uh, Jonas is here. He seems recruitable, though. From the conversation earlier. Like, not necessarily his stats, and also he doesn't have skills, so maybe not. Does Natasha double John? Yes. Yes, she exactly doubles him. Jonas is just a guy. So what you're saying is that I shouldn't be afraid to kill Jonas. There's not like a reward. Like the whole thing where he's like, oh, I'm going to name drop someone wasn't like a, that someone is related to him. Gotcha. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right. Where's Cassius style? All right, let's first off give Apollo's note. We'll hold on to that for later. Uh, you're good, you're good, you're good. You're good. You're good. Actually, does Cassius Style want... No, I think Cassius Style does not want a hand axe. You're good. Good. You're good. I think we grab the javelin for Jafon. Um. I haven't really faced hit rate issues with Cassius yet. Do I feed him the books? Just as, like, a... At the moment... To buff it up? I think so. I think I give him the books. And then we'll take... Iron Axe... Hammer... And Hand Axe... Yeah, this seems good. Yeah, I get past the promoted enemies with the ballista is rough. Yeah, I think I'm just- I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I think I'm just gonna go the easy way to the escape route. Uh, lesson successfully learned. So we will cash his style up here. Give Cassius support. Oh, wait. Cassius Rachel already have one. And I believe that was another... Wasn't that one? No, that was Rachel and Jeff. Twenty turn clock, yeah. So then that's even more reason not to go for John. We'll do Rachel and Jeff, just because like they're both units that I, if I'm deploying them, it's probably for a utility reason later. Well, what do you want? Come to laugh in a sinner's face? I beg your pardon. Don't give me that. I know your type. I've robbed your type blind. You think you're high and mighty for serving some king. 
that you have some sort of moral authority from which to judge me. Well, I am an irredeemable wretch. What do you want to do about it? That's not quite what I came for. I just thought you'd appreciate a partner to train with, given how swift you are. we are. But do you really think all of us are like that? You serve someone higher than yourself, you're betraying human nature. And in the name of what, may I ask? I may be scum, but at least I serve nobody but myself. At least I'm not perpetuating society's lies. Would it be remiss to mention that you're serving this army? And now I'm being made out as a goddamn hypocrite? <coughs> I mean, I am one. But not the whole point of me- The whole- But the whole point of being one is not admitting it! I hope you're happy. What did I just listen to? He's wrong. Anyway, our king is just a man. Serving him is a brilliant purpose. Natasha looks so fine. I love the warrior spikes she's got going on. The barter spikes. I'm gonna go get some water real quick. We'll be right back. Oh, that's, that's a starting soon. That's the one I wanted. Be back soon, baby! my water. He's my scrunkly. I love him. He is very lovable. Forget, does Cassius have any other supports? Butch. Alright, we'll, we'll put Butch up here to give Cassius the support. <laughs> Society. Society. Support. Support. And everyone else just go. I guess we could have Stefan go here. The two bad bitches. It is going to get a little bit clogged. Oh, wait. No, you're good. Okay. Anyway, the interlude song, Stick of Our Symphony, has more intense instruments. I do like Stick of Our Symphony. Um, I'm a Donkey Kong enjoyer. I'm a huge Donkey Kong enjoyer. Uh, Donkey Kong... I've never played it on the channel, but Donkey Kong Country, that, that series, is one of my favorite, um... Is one of my favorite, like, franchises. It's definitely my favorite platforming franchise, but it's one of my favorite franchises overall.
All right, here comes wyverns. Oh, they immediately move. Okay. Okay. Now we get to see some green unit combat. But yeah, I just got done with another playthrough of Tropical Freeze. Um... Maybe I'll play Donkey Kong on the channel sometime. I feel like anytime I branch out from Fire Emblem, I'm gonna get a lot less views. Which makes sense. You know, I established the Fire Emblem brand. But, um... Yeah, I saw Jonas's weapons. Oh, he has a Gilded Axe now. He's serious. Epistia, monk, I thought you were dead. Sid upgraded. Oh, oh, oh. All the Epistians have revived themselves. The concern now, though... So, I know he has a Horse Slayer. They all pulled the I Must Retreat. Okay, so he's got the Horse Slayer. All you, all you fudges. I don't want to end with our Cassius in, in range of all those Wyverns, because they'll, they'll wreck him. They'll wreckity wreckity wreck him. We could yoink him, though. How many uses does yoink have left? Nine, right? It's a ten user? Where is it? Yeah. Good yoink him. Oof. Oh, we can't kill with the hammer. Okay, I think to start... No, we reposition and have Kenneth do this. Wom, 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 wom. Axe Buster is effectively a sword slayer, but for axes. Also worth noting now and for a future reference that sword slayers and the like aren't class based. Yeah, I, I remember that from the first stream. Um, it was in the, uh,. Uh, I read a bunch of tutorials, whatever that, that was called, whatever those were called. Okay, I can heal Cassius, have him Cassius style on the Armor Knight. So the Axe Buster won't kill a bone at a time. Yeah, yeah, that's that was my understanding from the from how they were phrased in the tutorials. That was my general understanding. I think what I do is I cash his style here, and then I want to yoink him. That's decent level up, decent level up. This map's not too hard if you ignore Lazarus. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, the big thing right now is, um... If we can get Yoink onto Peggy and also shove Pe- Oh, uh, no, it's not worth it. I was like, the range. But no, we'll just Yoink with Emil. Because Emil getting Yoink experience is also good. It pushes him towards the, uh, the boost. His skill. Staff. Super staff. Whatever it's called. Super duper. Pooper staff.
Okay, so you don't reach there, so we can have Natasha. Okay, she does need to get shoved, but... We can have Natasha go here. With the Steel Axe. You go there. Take drop. You go here. You go there. We do want to steal the mini mini gem from the shaman. We are in like that uh that narrow hallway traffic jam moment. The foot leg we will never let you forget. Okay, but have you considered the last time I did something degenerate on stream, Retina debuffed Jeff as a punishment. If I like steal, if I if I go for degenerate footleg strategies, Natasha's strength growth will be set to like 10%. It's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. I have to, I have to play the most boring version of every map. This is not as insane on Lunatic. This is Lunatic. This is the Lunatic version of the map. So, like, by definition, this is insane on Lunatic, because this is Lunatic. Like, I've, I've, th my playthrough is Lunatic play mode. Alright, Sid. I believe in you. Apistia! The green units are all in the way! You can kill Lazarus on the map without completely bending over backwards, but have you considered? Have you considered? I don't wanna. We've got sticker brush sympathy sim symphony going on. I think it's just chill enough. We're just chilling out. We're just being. You better fucking double. You better fucking double. Oh my land up. What a dipshit! These green units are consistently getting in the way! Oh, hello. Curious being from a strange land, extremely affectionate. I know there's a playable Biggle, because I've seen it from the tier list. So I'm assuming this is it. Insight. A flying mage. Won't say no to a flying mage. Now you. Oh my lord. Pain in my butt. Oh shit, the crit. Hey, that's, uh, inspiration, right? Yeah, inspiration. Nice. Didn't even realize she was so close to getting it. Okay. Can we cash his style here? We could cash his style here, actually. Well, actually, we could cash his style with a fucking iron. I didn't realize Kenneth was gonna go all gamer mode and double. But we might as well. 
Sorry about this. I'll make it quick. Look at Kenneth Jagening. God, Kenneth is so good. Kenneth is probably my favorite unit in this hack. Like, it's, it's Hammer Stefan. Alright, time to cash his style all over it. Wait. Yeah. If we give Cassius the ankle weight to... It gives him an even higher strength growth. Right? Like, they'll stack? Or even higher skill? Yeah, he gets 40 skill. Okay. I don't know if he gets a, kill, a full level from killing the boss, because he's pretty low experience right now. Well done. Guess I won't be transferring now. He does not, but he'll get one soon. Send the seal, we'll figure out who gets it later. Okay, um... Oh, the hand axe is on Jafon! Okay, we can heal Natasha while keeping Fiery Blood active. Then we can give Natasha's hand axe to... Cassius mode. Go up here like this. We continue Traffic Jam Gaming. It is such a traffic jam. I would have liked to be able to barrier, but I can't. So I have to hope that the low HP monk is enough of a... Two maps of green unit traffic jams. At least it's the last boat map in the game. Yeah, you sank the boat to make sure there would be no more green unit traffic jams. That fucking monk being like, I'm gonna block your boat units from reaching the wyvern, but also not have the courtesy to kill? Oh my god. Okay, so now Cash is gaming. So we... Wow. Oh. Cassius is edging us right now. So hard. The map theme is very familiar to me. So this is uh, widely regarded as the best song from the Donkey Kong Country games. 99. He's edging us so hard with his double growth booster. His, his scroll stacks growths. And he's just like... Edge of Rooney. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, never mind. I was gonna say we could do a trade strat, but I think Kenneth killing this archer will level him up. I like the forest interlude more, but sticker brush is funky goaded. The thing is, like, I say it's commonly re regarded as. Um, I don't know that I would agree if it's if it is actually the best or not. Um but I also don't think it matters super much because, like, the real, the real win, the real, uh, correct opinion is just that every Donkey Kong song is really good. Like, I use a ton of them in my videos. I use mostly the Tropical Freeze and Returns ones because, um, they tend to be higher sound quality, especially because it's easier to get the GBA versions of the old ones. Oh, did someone drop a- oh no, that's just Lazarus, okay. Fuck! 
Thank God Cassius has fucking pass. Okay, well, Silver Axe here. If the he got a plus two as well. He's been spending enough time around Stefan to also get plus two. Our boys are supporting each other. You love to see it. If this is where it peaks, I don't think I like Donkey Kong music. Listen to other Donkey Kong songs. Trust me. Anyone who has even a semblance of musical taste likes Donkey Kong music. There's something, even if you don't like this one, there's gonna be a Donkey Kong song that you like. Not every DK song is Sticker Brush. It covers the a wide spectrum. It covers a wide spectrum of, um, of musical genres and stuff. Like, th this is a more calm one. There's more active ones. I guarantee you there will be at least one song you like. I guess I should say virtually guarantee. Minecart Madness. It's another good one. Hello, Miss Doyle. Hello! This is the kind of healthy masculinity we need. I I'm not sure what you mean by that. Snaky Shanty? Oh, I don't recognize that one. Oh, the green units- No! Don't attack the recruitable unit! Holy shit! These are some of the worst green units I've ever encountered. Okay, so Blair definitely recruits, right? What exactly are you supposed to be? You're just a floating eye. That can't be real. This doesn't make any sense. And yet, it's clearly here in front of me. Well, let's assume this is perfectly normal and nothing is wrong. Assume that people-sized eyes exist. It seems friendly? Are you a friendly eye? I'll take that as a yes. It seems to be able to understand me. We're in quite a precarious situation, whatever your name is. Could you help us out? Wonderful! Though, I guess I should give you some kind of name. How about... Svelzolus? Feels right, I guess. Glad to hear. Thanks, Svelzolus. Alright. Uh, so y'all... You have stealable vulnerary... How does Veltzolus look? So... Higher base strength. Is this physical? I'm assuming that it's a bit full body tackle, it's physical. And this is... Magical. So, he's uh, a filthy mixed attacker. Gets Kanto plus at 11 promoted and is a flying mage. Oof. Hmm. 
Not... Not the greatest. Not the greatest start, I'll say that much. I mean, the boys supporting each other. Oh, Stefan and Cassius? Yeah, I get that. Okay, if we go you there... Uh Ooh. Ooh, this is This is really tragic. Okay, we'll take drop. Go there. Oh, I don't... Is the, Are people going to be mad at me if I don't use the eyeball? Oh, right. Save points. I should probably save. People are going to be mad at me if I don't use the fucking eyeball. It's another flyer, but it's another, like... God, these stats. Moment. Use whatever scrunklies you would like. The thing is, I want to use the Biggle. I used Biggle in Burger King. I think the idea of playable Biggle is cool. And I know people like playable monster. But. Svelte's kind of like your second flyer, but not fully. Do you mean because, like, he can't do rescue stuff? Or is there terrain he can't cross? Six to seven move flyer. No bow weakness. Okay, I assumed he had a bow weakness. Because uh, Biggle has a bow weakness in Burger King. But Biggle's also, like, flying summoner. Biggle's got a lot going for them. Sid's going down with his ship. But he is critting. Check Biggle's skills. I did. Uh, he's got plus 20 hit. He gets Alacrity at 15. And Kanto plus at 11 promoted. Which is a long way away. Like, Desmond only got his first level up recently. When did Sid get a new axe? He put it on for this special occasion. Goodbye, green unit! Goodbye, green unit. Well, didn't see this coming. Young lass, you're gonna be just fine. This will be a glorious ending for me. Alacrity's pretty good for him. Alacrity is the doubling becomes brave, right? I swear to God, these green units. You have one two range. Actually, he might not. Yeah, he's actually, I clogged it so he can't. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yar, har, har, ho. This be a good place to go. Yar, har, har, ho. Kick him while they're down and low. Hey, dipshit. Oh, my first energy ring. An opportunistic pirate who wishes to claim Pete's former infamy. Okay, okay. Alright, we will have... You slam... Oh, that is a cool animation. I like that. I like that headbutt right there. We can have Cassius style hammer the next one.
You're unpromoted. The thing is, most of the units who I, like, definitely want to use long-term are already promoted. I guess Blair? I guess we could set up the kill for Blair? Fire Emblem Infinite Kings has the One Piece wrap. What? These green units are still better than the FE7 green units? I would say no, actually. I think the FE7 green units, at least they don't get in your way. Rescue you. Go here. Tasha, go here. At least the FE7 green units don't, like actively make it harder for you to do what you need to do. And go here. And this is uh this is retina escape, so you have to escape with Blair last, right? Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, yo. These FA7 green units were simply useless, and these green units are griefing. Yeah, like, I'm I'm happy to see these green units die. The FA7 ones die before they can do harm. Basically, that's basically what makes them better, in my mind. Better in my mind. This guy only living as long as he did. By my own mercy. Look at that! We can cash his gaming now. We can do the cash his style. Okay. We can Kenneth style him and then cash his style the other one. Dakash's style. Dakash's style is so real. Fun fact, a good friend of mine was convinced he's somehow a One Piece reference. One time when me and a bunch of friends were, um, legally high on marijuana, we convinced one of our friends that North Dakota was a government conspiracy. Oh yeah, what does she get on promo? Smite? Do warriors get smite? Or something different? Dakasha style! And drop here. Go down here. Ten AS twenty. I don't want Stefan to kill them because I'm greedy and I want to steal that vulnerary. So we'll go like here, we'll go like here. You would turn off fiery blood if you did that, so we won't. All right, Wyvern. How do we do against the Wyvern? So Wyvern. Everyone else goes forward. Now I need to play the game to make a Svelte Slam build. 
it changed when she promoted Warriors Have Smite. Yeah, she has Smite. Does Natasha's portrait change? So almost every unit actually has a promoted and unpromoted portrait variant. Um, people wanted me to promote everyone just to show them off, like to... in a preps menu. But I rejected that idea because, um... I think it'll be cool to be surprised by the promoted portraits. That's it. No more waiting around. I don't care what the rest of you do. I'm charging. Time to end this right now. Flyers, prepare your assault. And you would live again, right? This is the same... 27... 27, yeah. So if we... Ooh, we don't kill with Evil Eye, actually, though. Okay, what if we have Butch kill this guy? John Lazarus has waited eight turns. Now he begins his assault. Okay, we evil eye this guy. Wow, 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 wow. DK Country Music and My Fire Emblem more likely than you think. You missed the Better Call Saul music at the start of the stream. The fucking... The theme to Better Call Saul is in the sound room. There's some gems in this sound room, let me tell you that. I was looking at the sound room. Fucking... Wonderful. One, two, three, four. Okay, can we get four? We can get four. Let's get this save. And... Okay, we'll have Stefan kill this guy. Imagine if we posted the Sol gif here. The flyer spa spawns here are evil and I love them. That's why I saved, because John told me that there would be flyers and they will be evil. Yar in here! Hurry up, you doofuses! Okay, so Blair can kill, so what we need to do then is... You move forward. Shove. 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 Smite. Steal. Needing to end turn on the island to spawn the plank to the escape point says no functional purpose, but I like it. Yeah, I think it's cool. Can you shove cavalry? I forget. Yeah, you can shove cavalry in this one. Okay. Can't... Okay, we can... Thracia trade an Iron Axe to Cassius style. Eighteen, we'll put him down to twenty. He doesn't take twenty from this guy, does he? Twenty-seven minus thirteen. Nope, he does not. Okay. So we can... Do this. No real reason other than getting experience on Cassius. But hey, you know, experience on Cassius. I guess it technically saves a Fire Tome. But like a Fire Tome and an Iron Axe use are basically the same value at current point in time. I guess Blair is doubling more often than my Iron Axe users. So... I guess in theory, I'm going to go through fire tomes faster, but like in practice, I just wanted some chip experience on Cassius. 
I appreciate that the ROM hack meta has evolved to give warnings before dropping highly mobile reinforcement on players. I feel like I'm about to take that back, though. We'll see, I guess. We'll see. I also find it to be a good thing. Like, just the communication in a strategy game where you want to be able to plan your strategy around stuff is good. Is my hot take. Okay, so you can reach there. So we put you here with Slam. We go here. Take. Drop. I think there's some value in Surprise because, like, being able to adapt to things on the fly is a skill when it comes to strategy games. But I think in general, if your goal is to gotcha someone, you're more often going to create an instance of frustration than an instance of genuinely testing someone's strategy skills. Uh, as a general rule of thumb, like I say, I think, um... I think, uh... There is such thing as signaling too much, because I do think that one of the more overlooked skills is one's ability to adapt on the fly. Which is why I don't think Fog of War maps are inherently bad. I just think that Intelligence Systems is bad at utilizing Fog of War. I think that Fog of War maps... Being designed in such a way that they challenge you to adapt as new information becomes available have the potential to be very good. But in reality, Intelligence Systems loves fog flyers. Intelligence Systems loves effective or um, either effective weapons or just really, really strong weapons on really mobile units in the fog. And I think that that is bad. Which is why in this game's fog map, the killer the killer weapon starting out in vision range to, to inform you, hey, there's a killer weapon on this map, by the way, watch the fuck out, is good. Holy shit, that potential man reference? It's always a potential man reference. Being able to pick up hints that the stuff is going down. Yeah, so like, I knew there'd be flyers I don't know where from. I mean, now I do, but I didn't. Just as an example. We'll just, we'll cross the bridge. Heal up, Savaltus. Shoutouts to that one Zanbato NPC from Sacred Stones. Uh, do you mean the Chapter 6 guy? I know there's a Halberd and a Horse Slayer in, in Sacred Stones, but I didn't know there was a Zanbato. The Halberd is funny because Seth still survives at full HP. But it can put him in the situation where he dies. But with a sword, he's unlikely to get hit anyway. It's very... No, no, you. Yeah. Okay. Heal a Rooney, heal a Rooney. My bad, it was the Halberd. There is a Horse Slayer on that same map. Just nobody ever sees him. Because he's in the bottom right-hand corner of that map. Which, whoever goes to the bottom right-hand corner of the map. If you're going to the bottom right-hand corner of that map, you're probably going with Vanessa. In before this green unit attacks at one range. I'm excited to see this monk attack one of the cavaliers at one range. I'm, I'm so excited to see this monk attack one of the cavaliers at one range. That's so sad.
Enemy with a Zanbata would be a Droke. 15 effective might after triangle. At least Sacred Stones has 3x effectiveness. But yeah, would be a bit of a joke. It would be a bit of a goofy gaff. This flyer's in like a really annoying. Is actually kind of bothersome. Eleven. Okay, so he lives both. So we can do this. I think Peggy needs to escape this turn or she's fucking dead. And she can't. We can block her off, though. So if she goes here... We do this. This is so clogged. This is incredibly scuffed. Okay. Uh, 35, you don't reach. Okay, we have you go here. So that Sam can go here. This is incredibly scuffed. Fourteen AS, eleven AS. How much is he weighing me down by the hammer? Okay, enough. We can do this. Okay, you go there. You go here. Okay. I think this is safe. I think this is safe. This part of the map has a Shadow Dragon vibes where you kind of need to form a human wall to spread out the pirates, pirates and flyers. Oh wait, Beckmail might be dead. Oh wait, no, no one else can reach him, yeah. Okay. I can't end the map this turn if I want the Master Seal, which I do. So, like, we're not out of the woods yet, but I think we are in a pretty good position. Blah! <laughs> There's no escape for you. Goodbye, green unit. You almost made it out. You almost made it. Oh boy. This is fine, because no one else can reach Blair. The Pegasus can't reach Blair. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's too far away. She goes for the Cassius style. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, this Wyvern and Pegasus, though. This, this next Wyvern and Pegasus, though. Okay. We can kill Apollo. Sam, you fucking incompetent piece of garbage. Love you. All right, we can cast your style this person. The problem with Beck Meal is he's so low HP. That he dies to, like, a combination of a couple of enemies that I just can't kill. Desmond can kill here. Okay, I think I've got the beginnings of a plan. It starts by doing this. Sam is a Marissa archetype. Incidentally, this is the last map with full deploy. So we're gonna have to start making hard decisions about people's darlings, is what you're telling me. That would have been the funniest 1RN moment of all time. By the way, that would have been the funniest 1RN moment of all time. So we do this with Aaron. Sam is a Marissa archetype. So we heal Beck. That is unfortunate. I wanted to feed Cassius the boss. I think I can still. Although it kind of makes sense to feed the boss to a promoted unit. Yeah, I think it makes more sense to feed the boss to a promoted unit. So we'll cast your style the Pegasus. Oh, the convoy empties- Right, I forgot it does Shadow Dragon convoy. Yeah, I'm super fine with Beck dying then. That would have been the funniest 1RN moment of all time. It's I'm actually kind of sad that he didn't die. I'm kind of sad that he didn't die. Ugh, damn ya. I was gonna be the new king. It's okay, it's in the guide. I think it's in the- I think it is. I just- I read the entire guide in the first dream, but it was like... So much all at once. That there's definitely some things I- There's definitely some things I- I overlooked. You know? Okay, so we could Jeff style here, but then Jeff probably dies. Yeah, I think we do this. Alright, Apollo, get me your get me a good level on your first level. 
That is a good level for your first level. Does Apollo suffer from success here? No, because he doesn't double either of them. Okay. God, Sam. Okay, I think you heal Desmond. Desmond Steel Axe is here. Do you remember that Sam has a combat art? I forgot, actually. I forgot, actually. Like, that one's on me, Chief. I forgot. But we can do epic triangle moments. Yet again, I choose to run. When will it end? I think we heal up Cassius style. And we grab a Vulnerary and heal up Blair. And otherwise, we are good to go, gamers. Yeah, I think we're good. Who's your favorite unit right now? Almost certainly Kenneth. I really like Kenneth. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, no. No! Apollo! No! 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 Apollo won't suffer from success. Apollo won't suffer from success. This is actually so tragic. Everyone has to move first, too! Alas, this is Optus' will. Op Opistus' will. Who am I to deny it? It's actually so tragic. Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. They killed the Transmask Light Mage. Is Apistus Transmask? That's double fucked up then. I've broken through, let me scout ahead. Oh, is this an Iron Man? No, but I'm, like, two turns from the map ending. I'm not resetting. For a unit who I got last map, who, like, seems really cool, but... Also... I have just learned that we are no longer gonna be at full deployment. The RNG decided who gets benched. I've made it through. Like, the RNG has decided you are benched. showcase of skill
feels wrong not to hold them off, but if you say so. Aye, aye, I'll be our front runner. So the lance one can reach, and the axe one can reach. So we give him an axe, and we heal him. There's much to be done. I must live. Alright, and that, that'll that be... We've had our first death that I'm not resetting for, so... That feels real bad. That is a 1RN moment, actually. That is a 1RN moment. The low percentage crit. That is a 1RN moment. I did the math! Every first run of an FE game has at least one I don't feel like resetting death. Technically a low percentage crit is 1RN, but it's not because of 1RN mode. Yes, but it is still a 1RN moment. Because I've counted crits for it before. Because crits are always 1RN moments. I'll clear us a path. Be careful, please. Wait for me, please! Let that adventure be behind us. Whew! I'm exhausted. Woo! Cassius does it again! Is that everyone? Good, let us proceed. We've just barely made it. Where is Sid and his crew? It appears that they have fallen. They bought us time for our escape. This can't be. Oh, gods. What have I done? This was their choice. Without their sacrifice, we would all have died. You're wrong. There has to have been another way. Where did we go wrong? Tell me, tell me! Try to rest, please. It's been a tiring day for all of us. And that is where the invasion stands. It also appears that Lazarus has gone missing again. The Elbacorian resistance is certainly great, but given enough time, we will absolutely win the war of attrition. And then, whatever your goal is, can be realized by your leave. It'll all be worth it. This is the only choice. For the future of Yastraga, for our survival, I must bow to the darkness. Sands of Salutation. Call of the Armor Old Man units. No way. Yes way. Is everyone over? Is that everyone? Let's escape. Blair straight up forgot about Apollo. The Theocracy of Apistia, an arid designation nation formed by the founders of the Apistian Church. Apistia has historically served as a mediator in conflicts of hope. In current times, the nation shares relatively positive relations with the rest of the continent. A particular note is the alliance between Dulce and Apistia, one which may prove impactful as Blair reaches the Apistian coast, following her escape from Ystraga and Sid's valiant sacrifice. And Apollo's valiant sacrifice! Excuse me. We've arrived in Apistia. All I can see is sand. Blair, I understand how you're feeling, but for the rest of our sakes, we need your leadership. Uh, of course, apologies. Anyway, I believe our target is the capital city, Apistiania? Is everything here actually named after Apistus? You'd be correct. The capital is where the Archbishop presides. We've just got to... What's the matter? I think I heard something off in the distance. 
No luck. That's unfortunate. Well, keep at it. Your men are bound to strike artifacts someday. Alas, I'm tired of being stuck this far north. But what can be done? Indeed. Now I must be off. Simone disappeared again. Hopefully she's not far. She's hardly worth the trouble. Perhaps, but she's a genius. And she's been around 17 years, 18 details, really. I'm sure she's just off on some strange errand. <coughs> She'll probably return. Anyway, good day. Well, then, at least I've got time to slow to get something done. We've got trouble, miss. There are some unfamiliars at the shore. Huh? Intruders, damn it. This was supposed to be simple. Well, you know what to do. Kill them all. They're approaching. What's your plan? What other plan do we have? We must once again fight. Very well. We can make it into those ruins. We should be all right. Just mind that we ought to keep some units back at the bow. We can't afford to take everyone into the fight anymore. Understandable. Let's get this done. All right. Damn it, it really cut the deployments. So let's pick our darlings. Um, are desert items guaranteed for everyone? Or do thieves have an advantage in the desert? When it comes to that. <coughs> Basically, I'm choosing between these three. They are guaranteed for everyone. Alright, let's see if there's any Jeff gaming to be done. You know, it don't look like it. Oh! There is Jeff gaming to be done. So I think we do that. Uh, Natasha has no hand axe. Uh, uh, you do that. Oh, Cassius has edged himself so hard. Remember the magic triangle? Light loses to anima, loses to dark. They all lose to steel. Well, no, it's the physics staff that I'm stealing. I'm sorry, Sam fans, but... She was doomed from the start. What are these X's? Are these the items? Okay, so this is the thunder... Yeah, this is the thunder island. Oh, damn, bolting. Wild. The fuck is a horse doing in the desert? What a silly goober! Caliber. An owned spell that attacks with slicing winds effective against flyers. He's chillin'. So presumably, Hilbert right here, orphan mage from Apistia, wishes to be a hero. I'm sorry, Hilbert, but if you were in Awakening, you could reclass to hero. Oh, he has soul. He really does want to be a hero. Miracle, that's not a mercenary skill. Hilbert, you're a bad hero. Wait. No! He's the trainee! Oh, can I... Actually, I want to see something.
Wait. Oh my god, Blair erased Apollo's entry from her fucking diary. Yo, Blair erased Apollo's entry from her diary. <laughs> Apollo died. Throw his entry out. We no longer need to know anything about Apollo. Blair is a cold motherfucker. Okay, let's look at Sid at least. Sid Archivian, a pirate captain and an unlikely friend of Brandel, sees himself as a somewhat higher and mightier than other ruffians and can get somewhat territorial as a result. Despite that, he's a loyal man who fights the end for causes he thinks are worthy. Okay. While we're here... We will recruit you... So we can get your journal entry, and then I'll do actual preps. Are you a child? What are you doing here? Child? I'm already 14 years old! That's old enough to save people! It's never too early to spread the world of Hilbert the Hero! So your name is Hilbert, I presume? That's right, miss! I'm out here defending the people of Apistia. You and your friends seem to be in need of help. I appreciate that, but you're, well, a mere child. Are you doubting me? I'll just have to prove myself capable then. And there he goes. I feel wrong about this, but who am I to stop him? Alright, let's look at Hilbert. First off, let's check Hilbert's growths. Can somebody say bench fodder? Interesting, actually interesting spread. Defense. And speed. Like, he, I guess he's supposed to be a bulky mage. But let's look at him in the journal. Wait, who's Sved... Sve oh, that's the eyeball. Svedali is the biggle. Following people. Dislikes lights. Mysterious floating eyeball. No further information exists. Beckmail, Dustborn, Homeland the Lowlands, age 26, likes sailing and jolly fellows, dislikes pillaging soft foods, occupation deckhand, he hand. Lowlander who joined, who eventually joined a pirate crew, despite his rough tendencies, he's a good man at heart, and wishes to grow beyond his pirating ways. Born in the Lowlands, Beckmail had an unstable early life, after a failed attempt at robbing a merchant caravan. At a young age, Beckhamale made the most of the situation and managed to stow away with them, ending up at a port where he fell in with a bunch of Pete's mighty crew. Since then, he has spent his life on the ocean, almost able to forget about the ashen fields of his youth. And where's Hilbert? Hilbert Clark, Homeland Apistia, age 14, likes heroism, desert winds, dislikes sunburns and shadows, occupation NA, he him. Young boy from Apistia, he's an earnest kid who wishes to help all in need. He has a somewhat of a flair for the dramatic, calling himself Hilbert the Hero. Some years ago, shadowy forces, not unlike the party, not unlike those the party met in the Espidian Desert, took notice of a family of a talented magi and sought to recruit them towards their illicit cause. The family was mostly killed for their refusal. Their young child, Hilbert, survived. Since then, Hilbert has sworn to protect everyone that he knows from the darkness that took his family. Music's pretty- music's pretty slapping, too. 75 speed defense is wacky, especially on a mage. Alright, what's in the- Faltering justice. <sighs> you know, thought I had something going. I- I was this defender of the weak, I proclaim myself to be. But at every turn, well, life's trying to prove me wrong. Twice now, Yastraga has us backed into a corner, and twice I've failed this army in its darkest moments. You'd think I'd have learned a thing or two, but no! People have died because of my failure to protect them! Maybe it's time I pack up and retire. Huh? What's this? Whoa, this lance is immaculate! It's the most beautiful I've ever seen. Oh, and there's the bones of a man who died wielding it. Still, for the lance itself to be so pristine, that must mean something. I can feel it calling me, telling me that my duty is not done yet. 
Yeah, yes it is, your bench, Joseph. Perhaps you're right, Lance. Maybe it isn't too late to save someone. I'm just gonna take you real quick. There we go, you're truly a thing of beauty. Thanks for reminding me of my path. It appears we have no choice but to fight in the sands. Far from an ideal situation, especially for our cavalry, but our enemies will obviously have to contend with the tomb. I'd hardly notice the sand is an issue. Ah, right, I've read about this before. Magic users aren't affected by the sand. How does that work, anyway? Guess since we're in the Holy Land, acolytes might have some sort of favor? And I suppose anima mages might have some say over the earth? But then what about the Elder Scholars? It's better not to think about it. Of course, on an unrelated note, I see some strange markings in the sand. Perhaps we should investigate them, assuming we have time. It's possible they're hiding something quite valuable. Are you suggesting buried treasure? Sid's crew would have enjoyed that. Indeed, no point dwelling on it. Alright, Natasha and Beck, no. Rachel and Cassius style? I mean, since we've already got it started, we might as well. Cassius? Can't you tell? I'm deep in thought, Rachel. Frankly, I thought you to be asleep. Tim! Was that obvious? I get recent events and tiring, but that's... No excuse to slack off, I know. I'm truly the world's biggest fool. What do I want out of life? Being an errand boy obviously wasn't it, but is this truly better? <gasps> Throwing away my 20s for this. You're 19. And you're quite the optimist, thinking this war will end that quickly. No, what's going to happen is that this war will ripple through our lives 20 years in the future. We'll still be suffering the consequences. Assuming we even make it that long. Then why are you still here? Again, no clue. Maybe some part of me thinks that I can make a difference. Look, if you're tired of down or Cassius, come back in 20 minutes or so. Sometimes I just think about this too much. It's not worth it. Keep yourself well, Cassius. You do, Rachel. Canonically, they killed Jesus. All right, was that a personal weapon for Joseph, the Longius? Yes. Strength minus res damage, a holy lance. I mean, this is a good argument for Joseph Gaming, but I don't know who I would bench for him. Yeah, everyone else, like, other than Rachel, but also Rachel is, like, a flyer in the desert map. I'm not ditching Rachel. I can't have Stefan steal Joseph's Iron Lance, though. Yeah, I think over the Iron Sword, and then... Or not Rachel, Joseph's Iron Lance. And then give that to Supply. Uh, Aaron... Give the pure water, take an iron sword. Okay, um... We do want to trade the ankle weight to Jeff. Because he's about to get a level up. Six move, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We want to give it to him before he gets his level up, at least. But I think it starts on Cassius style. Because Cassius style is going to go for the axe, dude. Uh, 
Um. Otherwise, I think we're ready, Spaghetti. Rachel has the sauce, trust. What's the ideal footwear for desert trekking? Not sure. Oh, we got Caliber. So we'll recruit Hilbert. He doesn't die here, actually. To that guy, I mean. If we can... Put him in a situation where he only faces that guy. He doesn't die. Okay, we have Jeff go up here. Towards Cassius style. Oh, I forgot to get the note out to check the note. It was like Thunder Island. Something about the stairs. And another one that I don't remember. Alright. You want Rachel to prove she has the sauce? No calcs. Prove to me you have the sauce, Rachel. Paula's note. The Lonely Isle of Thunder, the Stairway of Delight, a corner near the Delta. Okay. So this is the Delta. Lonely Isle of Thunder. Not sure what a corner near the Delta is. I guess this? But there's already an X there. Like, I would assume this is the Delta. Maybe this is the corner? Lonely Isle of Thunder is pretty obvious. Stairways of Delight, I'm not certain about. There's multiple stairways. The female Thunder Mages murder Hilbert, I assume you mean? so hard they double him at base look at Cassius styling she held on to Apollo's treasure note but tore his page out of the journal Lamau. All right, does Blair double the Thunder Mage is the question. No, she does not. God, Rachel takes so much damage. I keep forgetting she has like non-functional resistance. If I can get the ankle weight to Jeff, that would be awesome. But, like, I think Cassius needs his action. Oh, I can do this. And then we will heal Cassius style. Do this with Jeff. 
And because of the ankle weight, he's gonna get strength now. There we go. Growth booster trading time. This is the strategy. This is the strategy. Then can we cash this? Oh, we don't have the hammer. That's fine. Can we evil eye you? Not you. You? No. Can kill that guy. Uh, okay. Because uh, it's a Lance Reaver. We can get the hammer out. If we have Blair go here, we can take the hammer out. Every time you say Jeff, I hear my name is Jeff. I made that joke um, actually as soon as we recruited him. It was like one of the first things I did. So totally feel you there. Like, totally feel you there. God damn, Blair. Blair is so good. We can Iron Lance this mage. Yeah, okay, so I think we Evil Eye here. We Iron Lance here. Iron Bow. You. Yeah, okay, this seems good. This all seems pretty good. God, Natasha's so cool. Retweet if warrior! Actually, Desmond can get this kill. Hilbert can kill here. Are we Hilberting now? I think we're Hilberting now. Look at that, Stefan! Perfect damage. He's grown so f he's grown so much. Remember when he used effective weapons and he couldn't one shot? He was such a silly goose back then. He was such a silly goose. Alright, so now you... We go Cassius style over here. Not gonna lie, Lazarus would have been a Stefan victim, almost certainly. Like, if I killed Lazarus, we would have done it with Stefan. It would have been funny. We do this. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh! The crit. The crit. That's a Stefan moment, by the way. One rounding with the Armor Knight. Very Stefan moment. We're taking that up to three. Now that Stefan moments are a good thing, we're up to three. Good job, Hilbert. I think we've come aboard the Hilbert train. Since there's no longer an Apollo Express, I think we're on the Hilbert train. Okay, so we can set up a kill for Peggy. We can actually kill with Peggy. Peggy's first blood, y'all. Y'all, Peggy's first blood. Time for an epic gamer moment. Yo, and she crit too!
That's fucking peak. Uh, please tell me he doesn't die. 31-27. Fuck. One twenty five. So this is the strategy, actually. <laughs> this is the strategy. We just rig a one RN moment, obviously. We just rig a one RN moment, obviously. Like, see, eighty sevens can miss with Cassius gaming. So we know they're in there. We just need him to dodge a 76. Yo, Emil! We just need him to dodge a 76. It can happen. So much remains that I will never understand. But that's okay. Nine. Yeah. He doubles. Okay, so then we just do this. So this time Cash just got hit, so we're on a different RN string. We'll we'll start counting. We'll start counting, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven to start out. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is eight the magic number? It is not eight. Actually, we can, we can, um, we can advance by three because of the Cassius one. No, we, that's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So is nine the magic number? Probably not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! This is such engaging gameplay. The one RN is working in your favor here. It is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven! Is eleven the magic number? This is what they mean by Fire Emblem Engage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is twelve the magic number? It is not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Lucky number 13, it was not. This is the ride that never ends. I could make a save state to make it faster. 
I don't think anyone would begrudge me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We'll we'll skip fifteen. Sixteen's the lucky one. I it was not the lucky one. Try twenty-one. Oh, nine plus ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, right. Ten. It was twenty one! It was twenty one! Lucky number twenty one! Also, I am making a save state here to represent the save point, so we never have to do that again. It is technically a 1RN moment if you think about it. That's like the most cheater 1RN moment ever. But I'm adding it to the counter. Rachel can kill here, but she fucking dies. Okay, we can cash his swag. 21 RN moment. When we're talking about a spite nerf, this makes me want to add the sacred trilogies to RN. <laughs> Yo, someone sent me a screenshot from the Sacred Trilogy's Discord. Apparently, they're like... Super mad at me for saying that the RN is player hostile. Not- not even the devs, like just random users. Which, like, I guess makes sense. I got a lot of comments on that video upset about it. But I maintain that it is a player hostile decision. And player hostile isn't immoral in any way, shape, or form. Um, did I get this one already? I got this one already, right? This was the, uh, the wind tome thing. This was the wind tome, I think. This dude, this dude man guy. Twenty-seven. Oh, he's too strong to Jake in anymore. Okay, we can Jake in with Stefan. Look at Department Heaven games. They're player hostile as fuck. The thing is that player hostile isn't even inherently negative. Like, some people want those sorts of things. I Want to Be the Guy was a super popular game for that very reason. But... It's not something that I'm looking for. You couldn't make two milkmen go comedy today. It would have to be two oat milkmen go comedy because of woke. That's actually, that's actually very true. Ultimately, if a game doesn't hate you just a little bit, I'm kind of disinterested. And that's valid. All right, who's got barrier? Peggy a barrier? 28. Peggy can be my... My lightning rod bolting. I think we shove. Oh, you can't shove. I think we shove. So Peggy lightning rods the- lightning rods the bolting. You shove K. 
Kenneth. Kenneth fights the Pegasus. Heal Rooney and get the treasure. The most fucked up part, the fact that I introduced Seize Tomes in the Desert, or the fact that there's not one but two Seize Tomes here. There's a purge. Okay. Oh! 26. Never mind, he has the potential to survive it. Shatter Spear, is that armor effective spear? I guess I'll have to find out next turn. God, Kenneth is so fucking cool. This is so scuffed I live for the scuff. Oh, that was about the one that was about the RNs, yeah. Fake dairy free, it's called oak milk drink. Because you legally can't market non Yeah, um the big dairy industry actually like sued for that. To make it so you can't call oat oat milk oat milk. Everyone's gonna keep calling it oat milk though. Cause that's what it is. Who has barrier on them? Or is it in the convoy? It's in the convoy. Okay, so Kenneth can kill it with flux here. So I think we have Natasha, Iron Bow this guy, should have put Ambush Bond Ballista in there. By the way, all C's is 10 uses, so it's twice as long to stall out as vanilla. I don't like stalling out Siege Tomes anyway. I think that's the most boring way to deal with them, and I don't like it when vanilla games kind of expect you to. Okay, so we can do this. So this is- oh! Nice crit! Nice crit! Just because I wanted to see the animation. We get the robe. Uh, we go to the lonely bolting islands. Hey, Purge! I'm assuming these are the stairs of joy because these stairs are like... But then like, what's the corner near the delta? Oh, this is the corner near the delta! Or this. Or this. There's a lot of possible corners here. Okay, we'll heal Rachel. Like, this is definitely the Delta, but what is the corner? Fucked up. Shimmer Sword. Effective against- is that dark? Or light? I can't tell. This is anima. Or all magic. This map doesn't have reinforcements. So you can beachcomb at your leisure. Oh, that's good to know. In that case, we will beachcomb at the very end. When it's time to seize.
Um. Like, you are going to be a problem. So here, you don't reach. And you don't reach. 26. Oh, mages. Steel. 12 AS. So we can just jab 26. Kills Hilbert, right? Doesn't kill Hilbert, actually. So if we have Hilbert go here. Doesn't get doubled. Doesn't get attacked by any other enemies. Cool. Um. We will heal Emil. Give, take, uh, what was it that I wanted? A oh, red right, barrier. And we will give it to Peggy. Okay. Kenneth's chat enough that the Shimmer Swords barely scare him. It's only effective against darks. Wardbow kills all magic but doesn't kill flyers. Heretic Axe kills Light. Yeah, that one I could have figured out both from context clues and also because that's how it works in uh, Vision Quest. Did you hear Apple allowed emulators on their app store? That's not good. I know it seems good, but that's actually not good because what it's going to mean is now companies are going to be more aggressive about mobile emulators. This is the first I'm hearing of it, but it's bad. That is my take. Okay, we can slam here. We can evil eye. How much do the other mages do against you? 15. Okay, so you die. Yoinks. Meal has yoink, right? Yeah. They deal 21? Sveltius has like no res. Okay. Natasha kill this mage. Sveltius kill the Merc? I shifted what weapon types kill mages. Oh, right! Because it's like Heretic Spear. I'll skedaddle for a bit, maybe return here later. Yeah, I'm not, like, tired at all, so I might do another map even after this. Like, the viewers are going down, which is definitely a little bit unfortunate, but also very good level up. Um... So if we... Oh, but then you... Ooh. Also double... Oh, this is so unfortunate. Okay, I think we retreat. You go all the way over here, because you're going to be stealing. You go there. Heal a Rooney, heal a Rooney. 
That's not in purge range, is it? I don't think it is. No, it's not. We do need to do this. Uh, yeah, they're overlapping in an annoying way. All right, grab heal and heal Blair and have Kenneth go up this way. Okay, seems good, seems good. Oh, you're going for Natasha? Big mistake. You've just turned on fiery blood. Okay, so we evil eye here. Then... You go up there. Okay, so we steal a vulnerary. Uh, Hilbert. Omega dies. So hard. Okay, Rachel can set up a kill here for Hilbert. Um. He does it from here so that he's not... Oh, but that's... Okay, Blair... Doesn't kill. Peggy... Can Wrath Staff here? Okay. I think we... We heal Peggy. So Peggy is now gonna provoke. And Wrath Staff. So she's now provoking the purge. Um. Thunder plus. Okay. So Blair can thunder here. And then Hilbert can kill the Divine Monk. That would have been a very funny 1RN moment as well. Yeah, I think we're Hilbert Gaming. I think we are Hilbert Gaming. We're doing funny high-speed, high-defense mage. So she eats a purge. We do really want this guy dead, though. Stefan! Look at him go! All right, and then we just, uh, I guess we just do that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, here come the calves. Here they come. Okay, okay, okay. So we can slam here. Bada boom. Um. 
You are stationary. You move. 12 AS, 27 attack. So you don't double, which means you don't kill. Okay, we'll do this. Okay, then we heal Peggy. Too much oat milk in our oatmeal. Oh no. Oh no for all of the oats. Uh, Peggy can go here. So, even with Blair here, he'll definitely go for Hilbert. 27. Yeah, because he deals much more to Hilbert than to her. Does he have crit? Five crit. We can just get some Cassius style uh, experience. Like, might as well. Right, the only reason he wasn't doing animations was because it was Peggy. Alright, so now Hilbert does mage on mage violence. Hilbert the hero. Rachel can do that. Okay, we can Wrath Staff, and if we crit, then Peggy gets the kill. Otherwise, Hilbert the hero gets the kill. Peggy gets the kill. Okay. Good to know, good to know. I guess you heal up Cassius for some Cassius style experience. Oh, right. Okay, so we will have you heal Hilbert, but then Hilbert needs to be repositioned so that Cassius continues to get the Cassius style. Okay. I think otherwise we end like this. Here come the horses. Why so Iron Axe the Pashis? Oh, Soul is kind of good on him since he has high defense and speed. Um, so Soul is I I didn't check, but I'm pretty sure it's also a combat art, right? It's there's like no proc skills in this game. Yeah, so it costs 3 durability, but yes, it is pretty good on him. I just haven't used it yet. Or it seems, rather, it seems like it'll be pretty good on him. More accurately. Okay, we will take... Drop a Rooney. Heal a Rooney. You have which one? The Shimmer Sword, effective against Dark.
Wait, why is it ringing on her? She's Anima. We'll heal Blair. Uh, go to the X. Oh, blue gem, nice. Go up here. Send Hilbert. Okay, this all seems good. This all seems good. I realized that I just said I think waiting out the Seas Chomes is the most boring way to deal with them. But we're not waiting out the Purge specifically. Um, it's just by coincidence we're getting rid of it while we're waiting out the Cavaliers. Uh, wait, why did it highlight the Dark Mage? Wait! Longbow, no! Oh! Shit! What a run! Has anyone kept track of how many 1RN moments, like, have saved my ass? Because I feel like it's been a lot. Eleven. Okay, Natasha can kill here. It's got to be at least six or seven. It's been so many. It's been so many. Eleven. Okay, we can do a Hilbert kill here. Because no one else reaches, right? Purge guy doesn't reach there. Yeah, Purge guy doesn't reach there. Okay, so what we do is fireball with the meal. Uh, you awaken to kill the Longbow Bandit. Currently unrelated to what's going on, but do y'all remember Fidget Spinners? I do remember Fidget Spinners. I do actually remember Fidget Spinners. Okay, we can Javelin. Iron Lance. So, she lives the Iron Lance. No one moves, right? Is just... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, she lives the Iron Lance. Or, she lives the counter when using the Iron Lance. People were really weird about fidget spinners. They were cool. I mean, they were nice for fidgeting, right? Like, that's the that was the general idea. Okay. So now that we've done that, we can heal up Cassius style. We have almost waited all the way through the, the... Ooh, wait. Hold on. 16 res? No, you'll be fine, right? Yeah. 26, because then it's just 10. Yeah, okay. We have accidentally almost waited through the entire purge. Very funny. Very... 
very, very funny, in my opinion. One hundred and twenty percent luck, gamer. All right, now you're moving. Remember when Flappy Bird got removed from the App Store? Yeah, and they gave an announcement, and then, like, everyone who had downloaded it suddenly owns, like, the most valuable iPhone in the world. Okay, you 24... 5AS... So Hilbert lives... So I'll have you go here. Certain blow, nice. Oh, that'll solve, uh, that'll solve, that'll be good for Cassius style. All right, what are your level up skills again? Rally res and rally defense, right? She's actually very close to rally defense. I do still want to give inspiration, so we'll do this. Heal Blair. Remember the $200 Among Us Chicken Nugget? I do not remember that, but not even as I don't remember, I just never knew what that was. What is the $200 Among Us Chicken Nugget? Jesse, what are you talking about? <laughs> Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? A McNugget shaped like Among Us sold for two hundred dollars. I'm 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 going full Heisenberg right now. I'm just I'm. All I can say is Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? That brings back memories. How does everyone have this memory except for me? I guess I didn't follow the Among Us Chicken Nugget lore. Hilbert is in his doubling era? Hilbert's being a real gamer. Like, look at this. I'm so glad we're training this little, little twerp. Look at him! Uh, you don't reach. Okay, you won't reach there either. So if we do this. And then... Yep, okay. So we do this, and then we can heal with Emil. Y'all doubted him, but Hilbert grows. You just need to feed him every kill on his join map. Hilbert is the new potential man. Oh, right, Longbow. Yeah, I guess we heal with Emil. What is it? Level 11 is when he gets Staff Mastery. Because Peggy doesn't have a heal staff on her right now. He gets Insight at 6. What does Insight do again? 
Hilbert is his sidekick potential boy. OMG Seveltis. You don't know that I didn't just reclass someone. You can't, you can't, you can't know that. Look at all of his potential go. Holy shit, Hilbert! Okay, so I think we do this again. Rescue Svelte Sveltalus out again. You hovered over him and therefore showed his name. YouTuber lying? <gasps> this is a YouTuber lying moment? Okay, um, we will have Kenneth. I want to turn off. Don't want to turn off her buff. But I also don't think her buff matters that much. Alright, potential man, go there. Healer Rooney, Healer Rooney. You can't reach, can you? No. So yeah, 27, doesn't kill. Wait, why did... Why did Blair have the option to attack there? Not sure what's up with that. So the, uh, the insults to injury are gonna keep piling up, because not only am I using Stefan, I feel like Jeff is not long for this team. If I keep continuing to get units I really want to use, then Jeff's kind of just like a what's the point unit. All right, good job, Kenneth. Especially with the especially with the controversial Jeff nerf. Is Kenneth supposed to be slow? I feel like mine's gotten decent speed. Hilbert's gonna be Kenneth 2.0. Wait, did I just put him in purge range? No, I did not. Okay. I don't remember his speed growth, but speed is awesome anyway. Uh, I remember it being pretty good, but I might be gaslamping us. This might be another YouTuber lying moment. Yeah, this is this is a very YouTuber lying moment. It's not good. Okay, how do I want to handle this? Can we cash his style here? Twenty six.
So if we do this and then cash a style. Yeah, I think we cash a style. I mean, we could also just cash a style with the hammer, I guess. Like. I think we have Blair hand a hammer over. Cash is style. Bonk. Promoted Stefan. Stefan capped his strength unpromoted with a plus two level up. Stefan's gaming. So that'd be 21. No one else reaches. We are accidentally wearing down the uses of this, uh... We've accidentally worn down the purge juices to just one. His potential. He he finally reached the potential. He's doubling without adept, my boy. My beautiful baby boy. My beautiful baby boy fucking did it. It's gonna be so sad when I learn that Physic has an invisible weight stat of 11. We will find out. The entire fucking reason I brought Jafon. Cassius Style, let's go! Six. At this point, we might as well just break it. It has one use left. There is no upside to not just doing this. And we'll also give, like, both bad bitches get to have their promotions to paladins of various flavors. Okay. We are almost at rally defense, too. It's gonna be so real when we get there. Aaron's actually gaining, like, very decent experience. I guess that's, like, all the stealing and staffing. I missed it. Did you get the item one to the left of Emil? I think so, but we'll make sure. Yes, it looks like it. Ooh, these guys are no slouch. These guys are not slouches. Holy shit. The potential. The potential. Y'all, he has the potential to be a Jagan. That's what the real potential was all along. 
Uh, you don't reach, you do. Twenty-four. Yeah, he's fine. You don't have three range, do you? Corruption one to two. Klongle, Klongle, Krongles. If we can bait her into equipping Krongles. I wonder if I can bait her into equipping Krongles and steal Corruption. I can probably bait her into equipping Krongles by barriering Stefan, but then like it's horse effective. And then we can steal corruption. I have to make use of pre-nerf Jeff while I can. Oh, right, what was Peggy's? Swarp, right. What happened to the guys who got abducted in Potential Man's Joining Chapter? Oh, they, they're dead. They're definitely dead. They, uh, they, they, they died. They died off screen. Wait, why? I thought you had Elfire. Oh, right, you're a Light Mage. Doi. That's why you can't use it. Silly Goober. Longleby is just a horse demon from Scottish folklore. It's just cooler than Dark Spikes. So this would be against horses. This is a 2436 Might Tome. But like if we barrier Stefan, she'll probably use Krongle against him. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm going to call it Krongle. Nogelvi? Is that how it is? It sounds nothing like Krongle. Dark Spikes. I think I'll call it Dark Spikes. That's probably the best solution. They come out of the sea and they do evil stuff. The, uh, the evil, the evil horses. Fucked up an evil dark horse effective tome called Light Spikes. Alright, Hilbert, where are you at? You're all the way over here. Okay. Can't feed Hilbert this kill either. Hilbert can't do fucking dick. Okay. Natasha, slam. If we barrier... As it stands, he takes so much. Let's do the math, right? So this would be an extra 23 damage. 17 plus 23 is 30, 40? So he doesn't even need to be barriered. He just needs to be healed. Am I doing the math right? As long as this guy is dead, which he will be next turn, Stefan should live because he takes 40 damage from Dark Spikes. And then we can steal Corruption. 
I'm pretty sure that's correct. But we can use a save to make sure I didn't mess up the math. And it's time to cash his style, also. The background music is from Simply in the Night. Yeah, it's Simply in the Night, Dracula, like, Dr Corridor Castle. Interesting. So he's an axe pal. Yeah, just like I thought. So now he gets bows. He bows and axes. Okay, so see, I didn't need Sam. Like, I recognize ready aim is, is a good skill, but I clearly didn't need Sam. He's basically a horse warrior now, actually. When you think about it, he's like horse warrior now. But have you considered that I like Sam? Cordelia also likes Sam. <coughs> I think we have a lot of Sam fans in the stream. Um, and like, I'm sure Sam is fine. Being the, the first bow user and the only bow user for a while seems like a pretty good upside. Wasn't who I chose to use. We'll save here. Fireball. Sam was a meme at first, but she's one of my better units now. I mean, I know her level 15 skill, ready aim, is supposed to be, like, really good. One, two, okay. So we can reposition. But her starting rank and starting stats were so sad. Danny, don't you know you were supposed to make the same decisions as me, the correct ones? But as a content creator, making incorrect decisions is funnier. And therefore, better content. So you're a brave Lance, motherfucker. And you overlap with each other in a frustrating way. Twenty-nine minus twelve. Ooh. Ooh, this is rough, actually. Okay, we can attack you from a distance from here, and we'll go scouting. I'll go scouting to figure out what the delta corner is also. Is this going to be the staircase of delight? Pair of glasses coated in a thick fog. Not recommended for nighttime reading, plus 50% magic plus 30% or minus 30% skill, minus 20% speed. Well, damn, if I'd known about those, I would have given them to Hilbert. Because Kenneth's magic is fine. I mean, better late than never, we can give them to him. It'll make his speed a little bit shakier. Knock it down from 75 to 55. Can Svelte use generic dark tones? Looks like it. I know Biggle could, but there was usually no reason not to just use the personals. But 
But yeah, it looks like it. Alright, so am I correct here? Our goals demand what relics lie in these sands. To that end, we must dispose of you. Yeah, so 40, exactly. Oh god, she looks so cool with that palette. So now... My man Jeff... Growth's floor at zero. Okay, good to know, good to know. So you can't actually go negative. I'm curious, can... Yeah, oh, I already answered that, yeah. Just to see... 11... Yeah, so if he ever faces them, he's super dead. But we can do this. Kill the rapier guy. At zero risk. And actually, we can also kill the Brave Lance guy because we can rescue with Rachel. If the classes increase the kid's growth, then they send him to zero skill. Skill issue. Skill issue. I think his magic's more important. Anima's very accurate, and I did just get Certain Blow, which, worst case scenario, I can give him Certain Blow if, like, his accuracy ends up being really bad. But Anima's, like, fairly accurate, right? 95% hit. I know light magic is the accurate one in here, but my brain is, like, rotted by GBA stuff. So I think of Anima as being the most accurate. So we steal Corruption. That's a nice new toy for Kenneth. And, yeah, I mean, like, the map is basically over. We do need to find out what those other treasures are, as well as the other X's. When did Jeff get a new portrait? Not sure. It's been that way since I've been playing. Man has a 0% skill growth. Skill issue! Look at that, though. Magic! Defense! And he even got speed despite being weighed down. By the foggy glasses, I mean. That seems like a winner to me. By the way, how do you do here? You probably fucking die, right? You don't fucking die, but you also don't fucking deal damage. Wait. Yo! Use? A use for Peggy Provoke! Yet another use for Peggy Provoke. Alright, Desmond. Ah. Yeah! And we will heal you up.
And now it's time to be extremely degenerate against the Brave Lance guy. Um, so presume- oh! Corner near the delta is gonna be this. This is the delta, not this. I'm stupid. What treasures are you still missing th from this map? I mean, I don't know. They're missing. <laughs> okay, so we can set up a kill, but it wouldn't be for Hilbert. I haven't gotten this one. I haven't gotten this. Uh, presumably the stairs only refer to one set of stairs, right? Yeah, they only refer to one. Okay. Um. The last X in the corner near the Delta. You could set up the epic Desmond boss kill. I kind of already have, but I also wouldn't consider it setting up. Right. Uh, that's... We gotta... We gotta do that. Epic Desmond boss kill. We could also just be very funny. It's so bad. It's so bad. Look at the difference here. 20 attack, 45 attack. These are certainly numbers. Oh damn, Desmond's still not killing. Wait! We can kill with Hilbert now! Inspiration gives true damage, right? No, it does not. Well, that would have been very funny. Well, that would have been very epic, but... No epic happening. Wait. Why? Why isn't Hilbert killing though? 23 attack versus 21 resistance. Or does that not take into account the throne bonus? The math's not mathing. Oh, weapon triangle. Right? Is it weapon triangle? But even then... Even with weapon triangle, 26 be minus 2. Effectively 26, so the throne doesn't show up. Oh, that's so sad. We could kill with Peggy. The unit who needs boss experience the least of everyone in my crew. It feels really shitty to kill this person with Desmond. Not even because he doesn't need the experience. He actually does. Um, It feels shitty to kill with Desmond because I've knocked her down to 2 HP. So it would be funnier to kill with someone else. Oh, right, the throne bonuses don't show up. Damn, throne bonuses not showing up in the forecast? 
actually tragic. Okay, we got Swarp, though. So that's cool. And I guess we just kill with little old Desmond. How unfortunate dying in this land. Desmond got a terrible level up. That was goddamn awful. Surely his horse will arrive soon? We're holding out hope. But, like, once he has his horse... When he has his horse, like, compare him to my other horse units. Not you. Not you! Oh shit! Cassius style! The new Cassius portrait! I just realized, because we promoted him this map. I like the popped collar! Very Cassius style! Okay, so presumably this is the corner. It is not the corner. The hing... Grants an extra turn when exploiting the weapon triangle advantage. Baller? Okay, I don't actually know what the corner is now. The promo bonuses are stored in the ho horse. Another sword for potential man. I don't think he's potential man anymore. There's not a there's not a potential anymore. Sword has the Alexis effect? Yeah, I noticed that. What the fuck is the corner? What the fuck is the corner near the delta? It's not a cliff tile, it's a plains tile. So like, th nope, that's not it. Thank you. I have no idea, though, still. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's just a fortify. I spent all that time for a fortify. Actually, fortify doesn't look terrible. I'm pretty sure I don't have any more, um... Master Seals. So Peggy's gonna have to stay unpromoted Swarp user. But... I think she'll still be useful. The LTC is in shambles? What was it before it was fortified? Was it warp or something? We got all the others. We got this one. Yeah, I think we got everything. It used to be basically a B-side. It was a gun? Peggy should, could shoot people? It was messed up. <laughs> what the fuck? That's that. Who were those people? They appeared to be searching for something? I'm unsure. It's likely not worth our concern. We must find the Archbishop. Uh -huh. Did someone call for me? Ah, oh, what lovely happenstance. A 
Ophistis told me Ophistis. Greetings, young women. I am Vladimir, Archbishop to the Church of Ophistis. A pleasure to meet you. Ah, hello. I am Blair of Erkelen. This is Aaron. We're here on behalf of King Brandel of Elbacor. I imagine it's about Yustraga's recent actions. We're loath to engage in warfare, but if necessary to protect our people, we shall fight. In fact, on our way to Apistia, we happened upon some pilgrims. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of them died. <laughs> they were accosted by pirates and we came to their aid. Unfortunately, they all met their end at the hands of the Estragan Navy. So, Apistian lives have already met their end to this conflict. Judgment shall be fierce and absolute. But enough of that. I shall escort you to our capital. Thank you, sir. Wait, did Apollo die? <laughs> Apollo! Apollo! Could not have suffered from success. Until he did. Lazarus, care to explain yourself? What for, O oh Commander Valden? You know, you damned well know. You once again left your post and threw away men. All for what? A noble with little to no bearing on this war? That's where you're wrong. She's a target of vital importance. The only importance she serves is driving you to madness. You've long been a problem, Lazarus, but you've also long been capable. However, you can hide behind your combat prowess no longer. Effective immediately, you are stripped of your post and to be dishonorably discharged. I will also require our sacred treasure be returned. The Harkinal? You bastard! Nobody else can use it like I can! Too bad for you. I suppose we'll have to win this war on the strength of me. Now be gone from my sight. May you find purpose elsewhere. That fool! He doesn't know what he's lost. Of course that girl to blame. Of course I have that girl to blame for all this. But she slipped my grasp for the last time! Our last encounters were just the preamble. All the misery I've forced her through shall come to a head. It will be glorious. And then I'll be seen for the champion I truly John Lazarus fails to kill a 17-year-old girl twice and gets his nut slapped. I'm not tired, but it is also almost midnight. I wonder if I should do chapter 12 or not. Let's see how I feel after the cutscene. I'll take a look at the map and see what it looks like. I shall move, move to mobilize our order with all haste. Of course, all things take time. I have a suggestion if you wish to prepare for an invasion. What is that, sir? You've no doubt heard of and seen the Tower of Apistus by now. As something of a rite of passage, we hold the trial of strength within. Since you've the time and nothing else to do, you might as well test your skills. May be some, it may be somewhat perilous, but what isn't, young one? If you think it's a good idea, I'll do it. Might as well make the most of our time here. Excellent. In the meantime, I shall attend to business. Good luck, may the light of Epistus shine on you. The Tower of Epistus. Built millennia ago to honor Epistus and to quite literally reach new heights of spirituality, the Tower of Epistus is a marvel of all architecture. About 23 years ago, Dalst came to Yastraga with a unique offer to extend the tower's height through magically augmented materials and design. Thus, the tower now reaches the edge of the heavens, a testament to faith and knowledge is harmony. Blair's party, as traditional upstanding up Pistian ritual, is sent on trial within the town, while Apistia prepares to invade Yastraga. You must be right. You must be Lady Blair. Greetings. I am Laronde. I am Laronde, and I shall be overseeing your trial. Your goal is to reach and defeat me. 
Make use of any items in chests however you wish. I believe that's everything. Take your positions when ready. This has me a little nervous, I must admit. What if we make fools of ourselves towards Apistia? We've come this far. I doubt that'll happen. Remember, this may as well be a real battle. Nothing's different from the norm. Right, you just... You're right. Just do what we've done before. So that's the way of signaling no casual mode. We got another recruitable here. Flynn. Quiet swordsman who roams Apistia. Kind and socially anxious. Oh, they've got a shimmer sword. They're actually our first Myrmidon, aren't they? Push res. Oh, that's like the the spur, but longer range. And double lion at 18 plus. That's a meme. <gasps> and it's only one per hit? I mean, it's five durability total, but still. Actually, that seems kind of bad. Damage minus four divided by two, five times. The damage penalty ain't nothing. I don't know, it looks like a lot. That's the guy who's one of the main reasons why B-sides were made... New Game Plus only. OMG, Flane, hi! Yeah, that is a pretty significant damage penalty. Oh, so we get both of the tomes from the lady from last time. A master axe. Droppable restore. Alright, so I think we... Oh, we get two more. Okay, well, we're definitely bringing Jeff then. Maybe Joseph gets to come off the bench temporarily? Like, either Joseph or Butch. I'm not sure who I prefer. Seventeen, eighteen versus fifteen, fourteen, ten. He did just get his personal weapon as well. Let's see what's in the base first. Unfamiliar light. Ah, Emil, how goes your research? Well enough, I suppose. Nothing spectacularly game-changing or anything, but it's what it is. Sometimes us academics have to make do with what we already know. Of course, of course. I must say, though, this would be a great chance to dig into holy magics. For both of us, I mean. Obviously, as an elder scholar, light's a bit of a weakness of mine. Hmm. Fortuitous idea! Knowledge that serves us both in battle for its own sake? On that note, I found some pages scattered about the, that fort earlier. Presumably, someone was reading up and then attempted to discard their tome. They did quite poorly. Only took a few hours to reconstruct the page order. What's your point here? The tome contains a... unique power. Something unlike most tomes I've seen. And while most tomes contain the ancient script necessary to cast them, this contains legible text in the modern tongue. Wait, really? That's remarkable. Here, take it. Catch. Light, warm, and heavy as pure gold. I've never seen anything like this. Well, it's yours now. Can't use it anyway. I can't either. Whoops. Well, sure you'll find a happy owner soon enough. Okay, then. Yeah, Apollo would have been a happy owner. I'm sure Apollo would have been very happy. Y 
used to summon a light ruin. Ooh. Joseph gets one rounded by a lot of the map, but he has good physical combat, and dying here isn't a big deal. Yeah, because we're getting people. We're getting people. All right, let's check supports. Sam and Beckmail, no. Well, I mean, if I'm benching them both, I might as well see the support, right? Natasha and Peggy. This one, I like this one. I like this one. hey ah, Ah! Oh, Wombo! Whew, that was exhausting. But I'm getting better. Oh, hey, Peggy! How have you been? Pretty damn excellent, I'd say. Nearly broke this staff and half on a dummy. You mean a training dummy, right? Sure, if it makes you feel better. How you been doing? I've been alright. It's been chaotic, but hey... If I weren't fighting, I'd be bored out of my mind at home. Amen to that. We should probably find healthier ways to entertain ourselves. Yeah, <sighs> I've always been able to take a beating. We've a battle coming up, but remind me when we're done. You'd love hearing about the Corander incident. See ya! Corander incident? Damn, if it's got that big a specter looming over it, it's surely got all my war stories beat for sheer entertainment. They aren't anonymous. Kenneth and Hilbert. Okay, Aaron and Svetalius do this one. Ah, you're Svetalius, correct? Why am I asking that? You're an I. No possible way to answer me. Well then. I wonder what went through her head. To make her think that taking an eyeball while on the run was a good plan. No offense to you, of course. You've been quite helpful. So I guess it did work out, still. Well, thanks for listening. I think. Can you hear me? Are there ears in there? I guess I'll never know. Alright, Kenneth, Hilbert, both, both tanky mages. Honestly, they might end up near each other pretty frequently as, like, two tile-wide choke points and stuff. You've been looking at me like that for a while. Do I have something on my face? I see you are dark magic. Are you some kind of villain? What are you talking about? I'm Kenneth. Been with Blair since the beginning. I'd hardly call that a villain in any sense of the world. But dark magic is the magic of darkness! What, do you genuinely think all Elder Scrollers slither in the dark? It's a perfectly reputable brand of magic, even with Apistia. Humph! And he's gone. Guess I'll have to continue another time. Those who slither in the dark reference, right? Am I right, gamers? Am I right? Um, let's get this one since they're both since they're both benched. Like, there's no reason not to see the conversation. What there be the problem, lassie? It's nothing. No problems here. Aye, you sure? You're trembling like you had one too many points. And the captain's hurling obscenities and axes at you in equal measure. Well, I, I swear I'm alright. Well, matey, suit yourself. Caught me an axe to shopping. He's a pirate. Why, why is he so kind? I can't believe this chapter has Flane and the Twisted. If I may ask, when did this tradition of a trial start? Great question, milady. I'm sure you know of the tower's origins, correct? Originally built to honor Apistus. Well, it's said that a tribe of barbarians raided the tower. Brave and valiant warriors rose to its defense but most, if not all, perished within. However, a miracle is said to have occurred, as the fallen defenders rose with a renewed vigor and proceeded to slay their foes. Of course, a few records survived from that era, so that might have been a folktale. In any case, the trial was eventually established to honor those souls and to breed generations of proud warriors ready to defend their land. See, that's quite a story. I'm honored to partake in such a rich event, it's nothing. Remember, Dalsus truly brought the tower to the heavens. Even with your territory's current status, there's a kinship between Apista and Dals. Then let us hope we can bring out each other's strengths. Excellently said, milady. Alright.
So all the magical enemies are gonna one round Joseph. Uh, let's give Joseph one of the chest keys we have. Oh, that reminds me. Are there any bargains? Oh, there are. Oh, I can get a second awaken? And another shining bow. I haven't used the first one yet. Magic axe. So it's magic weapons and awaken. Well, I think a second awaken is a good idea. Actually, we have, um... We have some gems to sell. Who do I want to give these stat boosters to? I think Hilbert definitely wants the Seraph Rope. Because he's, he's going to be a tanky mage. Maybe I also give Hilbert the Spirit Dust I've kind of been saving. Because Kenneth's magic is fine. I also like the logic of giving Stefan another energy ring because of Adept. Especially now that Adept is free. Which leaves just the speed wings. Which I think also go to Hilbert. Cassia Styles' skill is fine right now. So I think we give the honeycomb. Where's the honey charm? To Hilbert. Try and offset the weight a little bit. Now he's no longer at uh, zero skill, like perfect skill issue. Uh, and we'll grab a Vulnerary for him. God, I get all these light- I get all these light tomes and just no one to do anything with them. Weird of you to give all these light tomes and no one to do anything with them. Just an, an interesting design choice. You would think we would have a light mage by now. Uh, I guess we'll get a heal staff. What rank again is Shining Bow? C rank. And Natasha is... D rank bows, right? Yeah. Wait, what about Kasha style? Because he could charge Shining Bow. Oh, actually, Kasha style could wear the glasses. Just abandon the idea of speed. Magic Cassius? What's an Apollo? Exactly. Good night, gamers. Enjoy milking men. Ayu, how goes the milkman? Milkman goes good. This is a very fun hack. Uh, we could go Magical Cassius. That would be very funny. 
I think we probably want the light brand for Aaron. Wait! Void Cleaver is 21 might? Holy shit! Maybe Magic Cassius is the play! Like, holy shit, these things! Okay, I'm- I'm just gonna go all in. I'm getting all of them. Okay, who wants the ankle weight then? I guess we give it to Jeff? The uses suck, but it's funnier than a regular weapon. It is much funnier than a regular weapon. Now he has equal magic and uh, strength growth. Skill issues abound. But that's okay. <laughs> it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Right, Kenneth needs a heal staff. This all seems good. Uh, I guess we can grab... Elfire, in case you need it. Cassius is the Fogato archetype. He is now. Alright, this seems good. Yeah, so Light Brand is just a better version of the Leaven Sword. Okay, this seems good. This seems good. For this map only, units will not permanently die, Blair is still a game over, but other units will retreat, and thus be usable in future maps with no lasting repercussions. Oh, well that's good to know. I thought it wasn't casual mode from the talking. Nice job, Joseph. Oh damn, Joseph is begging to come off the bench. Joseph is begging. Begging to come off the bench. He says, Danny, do you see my powers? I see him. Awesome Joseph moment. Holy shit, Hilbert. Already one rounding. So gamer of him. He needed like no time to warm up. Okay, Cassius. Cassius style! The Cassius style. You can't kill with- Oh, you can kill with fire! Potential boy lives. I really like his palette, too. It's really cool. I like it. Restore. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we can do this. And then I think Rachel can probably kill him. But does she die? Because I know that she has no functional res. The axe fighter can reach her. Well, actually...
Okay, what if we do this? We reposition. Kanto up here. Oh, I forgot to give certain blow to someone. Okay, we can kill you. And then if we jab, Rachel lives. Okay. Seems good, seems good. Pew pew! Pew pew! Apollo lived so that Hilbert- Or Apollo died so that Hilbert could live. That's the story we're going with. You go there. Okay, seems good so far. Oh, you're gonna go for Flynn. Flynn Rider. Presumably Blair recruits Flynn. I know Retina likes, um... Giving you multiple ways to recruit people and make it harder for you to accidentally lock yourself out. Like, that was a thing that happened in Burger King a lot, is, like, if the Black Knight couldn't recruit someone, there were usually, like, five or six people who could. Mystery dungeon music in my Fire Emblem? It's more likely than you think. I think Apollo's death had neither a positive nor negative impact on Hilbert's life. I don't think I'd be training Hilbert if, if Apollo were here. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'd be training Hilbert if Apollo were here. I have never played Mystery Dungeon. Actually, that's a lie. YouTuber lying moment. Um, I played and stopped playing Mystery Dungeon for, like, five seconds. Like, I didn't even make it to the boss of the first dungeon. God damn. Hilbert, that level up. My man. My boy. My, my precious baby boy. Okay, so you can bonk the caliber guy. Me when I lies, lies, misinformation. No, but here's the thing you don't understand is like, it's funny. Okay, so Joseph, shove. Swarp Blair. We do still need one more shove. Ah, hello. I hardly noticed you there. Eep! Wait, don't run away. Are you going to say anything? You appear to be a swordsman. Are you one of those brooding and silent types? Sorry, sorry! No, I'm just not great at this. Talking to people, I mean. Fair enough. Might I at least have your name? Flynn! I'm Blair. Nice to meet you. Well, then I should probably get back to the task at hand. Wait, please! I'd like to join your army. You seem kind. I'd like to repay that kindness. All I did was ask your name, but if you insist... More strong allies wouldn't hurt. So this is a trans woman, right? Like, this is- this is very... Very trans woman behavior. Blue guy required. Oh, is Joseph guy? Or, not Joseph, Flynn. Joseph is- Okay, let's check out Flynn. People... 
Flynn Quincent, Homeland Apistia, age 24, likes swords and history, dislikes interaction and heat. Occupation, not applicable, he they. I was right about the trans part, just not the woman part. Wandering man from Apistia, he's deeply focused swordsman who adores history, especially when it's related to swords. He's not sociable in the slightest, but those who he does open up to find in him a lifelong ally. Growing up, Flynn found himself more interested in learning the blade than making friends, though not in the traditional lone swordsman brooding sense. Just interacting with others never came easy to him. And he deeply appreciated the simplicity yet beauty hidden within swordplay. As he matured, he developed a greater appreciation for the art of swordplay and for the stories of how the art grew, which grew in a general passion for the historical. He mostly stays around the Epistian capital, absorbing what history and skills he can. Okay. Could be worse. Could be a lot better. Okay, I think we... Hmm. Oh, okay. So here's what we can do then. Kenneth can flux here. Sword autism. Retina really does cook with the soundtracks. Took our estrogen. I don't think he's taking estrogen. That feels like the opposite of what he would want. Svelte tells us... Svelte... Svelte, Svelte tells us... I'm definitely butchering that. Sveltalsus gaming there. Then I guess what we can do is heal Natasha, put Natasha in range of this guy, the Iron Axe. Um. Have enough steel swords on you. I want to grab a steel sword from Natasha. Yeah, I think we grab a steel sword from Natasha. And then put him down not there. Okay, okay, okay. Female Myrmidon incoming. Does Natasha double this guy? Yes. It's 3 a.m. where you're at? Wait, how is it 3 a.m.? It's midnight where I'm at. I'm trying to think of where it could be 3 a.m. because I'm on the east coast of the United States. I feel like you're in the middle of the ocean. Are you in the middle of the ocean? Awesome S rank axe. Oh, did I miss? Did I miss um the Cassius style of the S rank axe? Thirteen. Oh, damn. Do you at least not get quadded? But you do get one rounded. Okay. It's 
Stefan one shots. What a fucking gamer! The potential has been achieved. Yes, I am boating. I'm surprised you have a uh, functional internet there, but I guess like that's the modern world we live in. All right, Hilbert can do this. Bada bing, bada boom. Gotta go lay down, my organs are messed up. It's gonna be fine. Oh, good luck. That, uh... Sounds difficult, but good luck. Good job, Cassius, with the Cassius style. <coughs> good night, gamers. Okay, I think we... Can we swarp Cassius from here? Yes, so we can swarp Cassius with the Cassius style. And how does Kenneth do here? Actually quite good. I think Kenneth... Kenneth, well, yeah, the two of them kill combined. They combine for a kill. It's 12 a.m. for me, too. Are you in my house secretly hiding? Because this brings him down to 20, so we can deal 26 to kill him. So we do this. That takes care of that. It's only 9 p.m. here. West Coast privilege. Oh, sorry, West Coast advantage. I didn't realize there was a term for it. God damn, okay. His speed is starting to go. Or it's speed, it's speed? Yeah, I think it is more appropriate. Is that brave? God damn, that is the that is the brave sword. That is the brave sword. So do that. Do this. Oh, master seal. Perfect timing for Peggy. Uh, we can heal you with Aaron. And she's at A rank now. Banish reverses the weapon triangle and doubles its effect. So we'll heal up Cassius style. And Joseph's just sort of here and Flynn's just sort of here. Alright, you're moving, you're schmoving. Oh, only you. Okay. Okay, we can kill you with the steel bow. Bada bing, bada boom. I really like that, uh, that bow sprite. That bow paladin sprite. I think it's a good one. Well, if only there were a way we could potentially one round this guy. Imagine if Kanto Plus was in this for more than just felt. Might be a little fucked up.
speaking of a little fucked up. Do you just have, like, super high res? You like, no defense, but all res. Okay, gotcha. So you just hate mages. You're a mage killer. You don't move. And do you do with the slam? 19. <sighs> Tragic. How do you do with the evil eye? Can we... So if we go here... You'll get evil-eyed. Okay. God, this is so tragic. Okay, this kills though, right? Yeah, this kills. Okay. Ooh! I like the female Myrmidon sprite! Yo, check out the Worm Slayer that you just got. It's got sauce. Reeves... Oh, yeah, no, I know that... Wait, Reeves axes? I know that Worm Slayers are usually, uh, Reavers because Wyverns have lances. I didn't think it would Reeve axes, but that's pretty cool. Okay, so we will grab the bow, give it to Natasha, and then let her go ham against this guy. I guess that makes sense because there are axe wyverns in this. So it does make sense. Oh, I should have swarped Joseph. Suboptimal swarp usage, fake gamer. Okay, I guess you'll go this way to get these chests. We will have Jeff get the other chests. I forgot that I gave you chest keys. I'm assuming that we are fairly close to either an event or some reinforcements. Otherwise, this is a very easy map. Oh, I didn't see you, horsies. I mean, the horsies add a little bit of a gimmick. All the worm slaying weapons are also triangle reverses in this hat. Are there sword wyverns then? Or is the dragon axe either non existent or absolutely ass? And we cash a style! Not very well, though. At least we dodge. I'm so excited for the first Cassius magic level up. I might rig for it. Because we have save points available. Wait. Axe Reaver. Shatter Spear, okay. Do you move? You have Yoink, right? Okay, uh, 27, 28 versus, what's your defense? 
Oh no, Stefan will actually game. Stefan will be fine. I want to steal that sleep staff. I want to steal that sleep staff. So she's fine as well. Twenty seven. It's all fine. It's all fine and dandy. Okay, so you can do this then. And it'll be fine because no one else can reach you. Shatter Spear is such a good name for it. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like the name Shatter Spear. It does go pretty hard. It does go pretty hard. Okay, I think we, uh, just enter in like that. Bum, 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 bottom, bum, bum, bum. Okay, so Emil kills this guy. Or actually, no, he doesn't double. But that can mean Hilbert can kill him. And then... Aaron's fine. Aaron can actually kill this guy. That is a very laggy animation. Okay, if we... So we can steal bow to kill this guy. So I think we rig this magic level up. I think we rig this le magic level up. You know what more Fire Emblem games should have? The Chukonu. I love the Chukonu. Hilbert, why do you keep gaining strength? That's the Cassius style right there. Oh, he did not level up off of that. So there was no rigged magic level up. Alright, we can adapt here. Look at that ridiculous combat forecast. Is Kinetic Tome in this game? What is Kinetic Tome? Is that like a tome that does strength damage? Maybe? I don't know. If there if it is, I haven't gotten there yet. But that doesn't mean that it's not there. Okay, we can... Levin Sword you. What if they added a physical tome, but used the animation of Ephraim throwing the book? I do like the Ephraim throwing the book animation. And rally defense. Perfect. So now she's the ultimate rally bot. Okay, 
Okay, so we Evil Eye here. I know it's a physical tome in Warriors. I don't know if anyone has put it into the hat. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I don't know either. Why else would Blair or Hilbert get strength? My theory is that Hilbert gets swords on promotion. Because, um... He wants to be a hero, and he has soul, so it makes me think of heroes. So my theory is he either becomes like a mage knight, or like a, like a judge girl mage knight, or um, a war mage. But I don't have anything other than the theory, like anything to back up that theory other than like what I just said, which is kind of a stretch. That's only 48. But it would mean we can get this kill with Desmond. So I think we do this. And then we get this kill with Desmond. He becomes an emperor, clearly. Charlo from Burger King coded. True. Can we get a so true in chat? Can we get a so true? I like how Iskra's supports will clue you in on her promotion. Oh, you mean in Bells? Yeah, I think that's a... I like that. Ooh, wait. Okay. 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 We did it. We did it. Kofi also rocks? I didn't end up using him outside of his join map. But I did think he was cool. Uh, just like really high sword rank. Right? So he was supposed to use, like, the magical swords and stuff. Yeah, I, I, I agree that he's cool. I do want to get all of the chests. Ooh, nice dodge, Zavaltus. Your starting position on the islands is so rough for chapter 18. Which one is 18 again? Is 18 the one where you first go in? Is 18 the one where, um, Kwame joins you? You're not keeping up. Second arena visit. Have you tried taking advantage of Sarah's personal skill? Um, I leaned really hard on Sarah's personal skill because the AI isn't aware of her personal skill. And you can essentially use her... You can essentially use her as, like... Okay, so we will do this. This is in range, or er, out of range, right? Yeah, that's out of range, okay. The 1% crit. But you can use her for some AI manipulation. Like, basically, if she's at super low HP and has her personal skill active, um, the enemy will, like, almost always go for her, and they can't kill her. But they don't know that.
Okay, so we will smite here. Okay, this kills. We can make it more accurate, though. Sarah is a big help, but I also want to capture some stuff. Oh, I did a fuck ton of capturing um, on that map. I didn't get the boss, though. I don't think going through the boss is worth it. It's like a scroll at the point in the game where, like, I kind of stopped caring about scrolls. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think we got this. Okay, Cassius style magic level up. Cassius style magic level up. Yes! The sunglasses were successful! Wait. Wait. Okay, thank god. Thank god we get the Cassius style. We can send that energy ring to the convoy. I think we have to mend here. And then we canto north, because the treasure chests are- Oh, right, you don't can't canto after. I keep forgetting it's not that type of canto. Okay, but we- Cassius style here. Wizard Cassius is real. I might go for the boss, but I mostly want the Master Sword on the Swordmaster near the start. Oh, yeah, I don't remember how I baited the Swordmaster, but I did. I did do that. Okay, so if we do this, then we can yoink Natasha out of sleep range. Varuni. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. Is that in... That is not in sleep range. Okay. Cool. We can heal Hilbert. Nice. Staff rank. Okay. Seems pretty good. Okay, you're being annoying to my Cassia style. I do have thieves now. So we can kill you. Get your chest key. Drop you. Put you there. Okay, we can kill with the Iron Lance. Good job, Desmond. We're almost ready for another Desmond level up. I think because we're finally at the point where other units are promoted, Desmond is going to finally start fucking leveling. Devil Axe? 
Yo, those stats are stupid! 27 might? 77 hit, 7 crit? That's stupid. I love that. Oh my god. Good. We're gonna kill this Armor Knight basically the same way. Another Yoink use. But Yoink is 10 uses, and like that's good experience on a meal. Seven luck, so you know it doesn't backfire. Oh, true! That's probably the secret message that was being delivered. Well, that's Hilbert's property. Oh, fudge. So now, Jeff goes here. Shove you. Go there. Go there. Okay. I think we are good. What do you mean it backfires? There's no way it backfires. You're you're spreading misinformation. Clearly. Okay, so if we hand axe here, we actually we can kill with the iron bow this time. Cuz of fiery blood, I think. Damn, you saw through my vast bo bamboozle. I'm glad- I'm glad you're admitting that you lied because it doesn't backfire. So we yoink Natasha here. Then we rescue her away. Okay. And now we can steal the sleep staff next turn. Alright, cash is style on this guy. The rivalry is over, they now work in concert. Finally, an iron rune. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, my name is Jeff, one, two, three, four. I mean, we can do this, right? We just swarp my name is Jeff. And then he can steal. So we steal the sleep. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yoink, Jeff, down to here. And that is 29? So he lives if he doesn't get crit, we just need to get the Iron Ruin to him. Which I think is pretty doable. Like, watch. And she lives the sword guy, right? Because you don't move, yeah, you don't move, and you don't move. So she lives the sword guy, 23. Yeah, she lives him. 13, 8, not doubled, not doubled. Because we just got the Iron Ruin. So we give the Iron Ruin. We drop a Rooney, drop a Rooney. Open the gates. Cassius style? Ooh. Not the greatest Cassius style. We'll cash a style next turn. We do this. I need to get to bed, but take care and have fun. You have a droppable corruption, right? I want that. So these calves are going to go for Blair and Jeff. Awaken has such a cool animation. Alright, and then we can have Hilbert kill one of the calves. Jeff might kill the other one in retaliation. He does not. I do really like the thief sprite. It's very neat. Alright, so Hilbert just needs a shove. Hilbert just needs a shove in the right direction. God damn! He's already so good! Look at this mad lad! And slam! Slam is so cool. Bonk! Eyeball bonk. Oh, we can steal the... American Numbuino as well. I have to make use of Jeff while I can, because as soon as I install the new patch, he's nerfed. Although, I guess the America No Bueno, that wouldn't make a difference, because that also only had five uses. Wait. I don't think I can one-shot him, right? Yeah, it's only eight move. Okay, so I can do this. And then we heal with Aaron. Yeah. I think we do this. Get a corruption. Oh. The Cassius style just continues. Keeps on rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, 
heal up Cassius style. And we can swarp. Swarp is such a cool, such a cool one. Okay. So we can steal the elixir. The mage Cassius build is so real though. Okay. So we can steal the elixir. Uh, Hilbert. I mean, we could just be super degenerate and, like, do some nonsense. Okay. We'll rescue you out of the way. Have you do this? What's Javelin Rain gonna look like? Oh, Hilbert. Oh, damn, Javelin Rain looks wacky. Okay, so we will take Dropperoonie. Take Dropperoonie. I guess I should go here. So we give... Yeah. Okay. Uh... Yeah, this seems fine. I don't think I care about Aaron experience enough to use a Mendus here. Especially because she's already at A stabs. Like, if I'm gonna use staffs to grind people, I'm gonna use the people who don't already have A rank staffs. Okay. So, we have Hilbert Gaming. 100%. That's the SMT animation? What's SMT? Because SMT to me means Shimigami Tensei, and I feel like that's not what you meant. Wait, so how is that uh, Shimigami Tensei animation? Explain yourself. Javelin Rain is a physical attack in the Shin Megami Tensei games. Oh, so it's just like... Stolen from... SMT? I guess it does look 3D. I guess it does look 3D. So that makes sense. Degenerate Hilbert grinding time, though. Our boy is ascending. Ported to GBA. Gotcha. Okay, so we would... Reposition and be safe. Impressive, but your real trial begins now. Good luck and on guard. Ooh, I like uh, this Halbert sprite. It's interesting looking. He just doesn't fail. Look at this man. He does not fail.
Okay, so we can Swarp here. God, Swarp has been so useful. Peggy has not gotten a single fucking... Has not taken a single action that earns her a point of experience since she hit 15. And she's still been so useful. Like, a, it's ridiculous. I love it. Yeah, this stream has been going on for about six hours. Um... Hilbert... Actually, no, he's just trying to get more experience. This is the Hilbert experience. Wait. How did that... Wait, I thought Hilbert had 100% hit. No, it was the other guy. He has 95 here. Okay. Well, then that's a 1RN moment. We're hit. We had 21 RNs moments. Brilliant. To be fair, one of those 1RN moments was intentionally forced by me. Kenneth, that was very sad. Alright. Hilbert, take us home. I'm tired. It's bedtime. Hilbert, I believe in you, buddy. Actually... Oh, it's just defense. I mean, both of them getting defense bonuses with each other are actually super huge. Because they kind of want to be that together. Frontline mages. Alright, buddy. You got this. I yield. Well done. You are more than ready now. We'll just... Huh? What is it? Isn't the trial over? I hear something. It's coming down the stairs. Is it just me or does the air feel cold? What is that thing? If I'm studied on my history, that's dragon. And not the tamed wyvern kind of dragon. That's a dragon lost to history. It's lost to history? How did it end up in front of us? I don't know. This has never happened before. It's dangerous, but we've got no choice. We have to stop it from getting outside. How will we even know if we're hurting it? It looks absolutely impenetrable. It's like our modern wyverns. If it's like our modern wyverns, it's not as durable as it looks. Worst case, one of the chests here might have some kind of dragon killer. I'm certain that with its power, as well as your power that bested the trial, we'll prevail. I hope you're right. Everyone, we must bring an end to this threat. It seems a bit stunned by its surroundings. Make use of this time before it collects itself. Wait! This has... Hold on. I need to see if the... Did the Jeff nerf already take place somehow? No, it just looked like it was 5, but it's, it's only... It is 15. Okay. So can you recruit? No. Can anyone recruit you? No, it doesn't look like it. You don't look recruitable. Okay, so this is- it's not over yet, I King Trabant. Uh, so we can double with Flux, because of Lightweight. Evil Eye does nothing. Do you have, like, you have more defense than resistance? Okay, so you're useless. Sorry, Svathaltius. But you're... Actually... Yeah, you're kind of useless. Yeah, you're kind of useless. Okay, first off... 
Buddy, do you really have to stand in, like, the worst possible spot? By the way, Mr. Green Unit? That's not... SMH my head. Sloppy animation work, Retina. Who definitely did all of the animation. So we can feed the dragon to Svetaltius, actually. By doing this. Lower crit chance. And also bow rank, and bow rank is nice. And so then this kills Slamorama Ding Dong. Um, I guess we Emil Staff. Get him a level up. Magic Luck Resistance. I mean, Magic's probably the only stat he cares about. Oh shit, the crit! And we get alacrity now. I believe the danger subsided. That was quite unexpected. On the bright side, I'd say we've passed the trial. Good to see you're still well, milady. Apologies for all that. Archbishop Vladimir wishes to see you regarding the impending invasion. Thank you, Laronde. And thanks for the help back there. It was nothing but my duty, milady. May you keep yourselves well. It's an honor to see you, Archbishop. As it is to see you, young lady. I've heard of what happened in the tower, and I am deeply regretful. While it was an unexpected encounter, all ended well. Still, I ought to investigate when time permits. For a dragon of legend to return to life fear what that may mean. But on to higher news. I'd estimate you can set forth in, in a day or two. Our military is mobilizing exceptionally quickly. As for our plan of attack, we felt that sending a small force towards Elba Corps to assist with the defensive, while mobilizing a strike team to decisively take Istraga's capital, would be the most effective strategy. After the events of today, I believe I can trust you to leave the offensive. Are, are you sure? You're an extremely capable leader for one so young. I've heard about the strength you can draw from your allies. In any case, you ought to prepare well. I have a healthy sum of gold for you. Spend it as you wish, and make whatever preparations you need. Truly humbled, Archbishop. Gerard, what did you wish to show me? Ah, of course. As you know, this is where we've been conducting... experiments. Though, given the progress we've made, I'm loath to merely call them that. We've had successes in calling forth a long, for a power long forgotten by the world. This is truly something. I've never come close to a discovery of this magnitude. This place truly does open the mind, in a sense. We'll change the world for the better, with what we find. Now come along. Simone's off elsewhere, but her research is coming along. I'm quite certain you'll find it absolutely fascinating. Of course, lead the way. Congratulations, the Pope is now funding your war. Uh, it's a walking chapter and I want to promote Peggy, so we'll do this one as well. I promise the stream will end eventually, she says, and she's lying. Built at the base of the tower, Apistia, Apistiania, Apistia's capital, serves as a gathering hub for believers and explorers alike. A bountiful river flows between the extreme north and the tower. This particular stream is likened to the lifeblood of Pistis. The serenity of the city stands in contrast to rising tensions, 
as Archbishop Vladimir begins the final preparations for the Estragon adventure. Streams will continue until morale improves. Take your time, young lady. When you're ready, I'll be in the city's north. All the sundries you need are near the river. And of course, don't be afraid to talk to the locals. They're truly a blessed people. Of course, Archbishop. Thank you. It's truly nothing. May he guide your way. I think actually what we'll do, I'll promote Peggy? Well, so the question is, would we rather promote Peggy or the eyeball? Promoting the eyeball starts us towards Kanto Plus, actually. And like I was just saying, Peggy is actually quite useful even without... Peggy is, even, is actually quite useful even without doing anything to gain experience. So I think we... We sell the blue gem. And then we promote... Svebaltus. Because he start he actually benefits from promotion much more than she does. Big girl. Oh, is there no no promotion animation? I don't even know what stats I got now. Oh, I've actually- wait, I've read about this. I think... I think I know the problem. If I turn assist animations on... Yeah, I figured it out, okay. That's a, uh, that's a problem that can come up in some- with some custom promotion animations. Sometimes custom promotion animations are listed as assist animations. So that- I think that's what happens. Okay, well, um, I guess this is educational. If you ever run into that issue, that's how to solve it. Yeah, there's a couple of common- there's a couple of common ROM hack bugs that I, uh, am aware of because I've run into them, unfortunately. One of the other ones is, uh, the green unit escape bug, um, which can cause problems. I mean, Svelte is on the way to Kanto Plus now, and also the combat stats really matter, whereas, like, Peggy- we can do funny stuff with the with the the rat staff, but like ultimately swarp is the big deal. It's not like Peggy's not going to be useful unpromoted. Limitations of the engine, very much so. How where did you get all your stuff back? How many American Nukobos do you have? A stolen heirloom of the Mevanese Royals. Whoa. What's, uh, what's in the, what do we got in the shops? We have a lot of money. We finally actually have a lot of money. We can buy Obstius Icons, all the ones that I sold. We can buy Nosferatu! We can buy Yoink! Okay! Uh, effective weapons... Killer weapons, longbow... Yo, what are you? Protective. So he's a, uh, gentleman. He's a Redditor. He, is he the Redditor? Is he the fabled Redditor? 
with the gentleman skill. And he has flow state? Oh, he's so redditor. Oh, Eliza! Rally Luck, but Power Staff in three levels. Layla? She has Lone Wolf. Well, we'll figure all of this out next time. Um...